today. Uh, so many times I wanted to yell cut. I just, I just, I just go with it. I like fuck it. You know what I mean? Fuck I'm gonna send that's, you the word. That's what I do. What I do over there is what Pat does when he asks questions. He'd be like, I don't know. So I'm gonna ask questions. Like I get it. And then that I was like, I don't know. I'm just gonna face the music that I don't know. Fuck it. It is what it is. I think my favorite part is when y'all try to when y'all try to guess, because like I watched the episode with Jenna do and like he his mannerisms and everything, he was like so confident. I was like, oh, he looks like, you know, I was like, oh, he's gonna get and then it was like this dude has no idea what the answer is. But he is faking. He was like, yeah, because yeah, it was believable. It is faking ass. <laughs> you gotta have the confidence. I was like, oh, okay, he know. He don't know. I'm about to. Uh, he don't know. Um, I'm gonna send you this he word. Don't know. And I just want to see your face when you see this word. I really wanted you to get this word. Like, this is a word for you. <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want it right now. We ain't even on them. <laughs> I'm gonna look at it in a minute. Let me finish putting y'all information in the description. I'm gonna look at this little oh, fuck yeah. ass word. Look and let me <laughs> let me go. Uh oh. oh. Okay. Well, let me shut up because you might talk about that later. Okay. Uh oh. What up? No, I just saw something. Uh, a headline. I didn't read the article. I just saw the the headline, so I'm gonna have to read the article later. So. Oh, okay. Boom. Boom. I don't want to step on the host, you know. You you be you 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 got a shift that you got going on here. You know what you're doing. I don't mind up here. Okay, look at you. Oh man, I know some of them work. You know what I, mean? I thought it was gonna stump you because of the you know what I'm saying? I thought nah, it was gonna nah, get you. I got that one. I got that one, Ty Davis. I, listen, I'm pr I'm proud <laughs> of you. You did that, friend. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Zoom with the homies. We got everybody pulling up right now. It's going to be a good time. Um, yeah, man, we're going to have a great time. We got uh, BT coming in. He already let me know he's going to be a couple minutes late. But uh, Nick Nick Carthon is here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Keith Day, you know, don't you know? Hey, y'all. Uh, David, y'all, you know. So we just going to. Actually, man, y'all know them. We're not doing the introductions with everybody tonight. We just gonna have a good time. We're chilling, man. Nick is becoming regular at this point. Same as Keisha. Keep over there eating some, some Campbell's clam chowder. Yeah, she cooked. No. I made some um <laughs> smoked turkey and um turkey drums and black eyed peas and cornbread. They call that Detroit cereal. Oh, word. Detroit what? <laughs> Detroit cereal. That's what they <laughs> 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 All right, well, let's go ahead and kick it off. Welcome to another episode of Super with the homies, man. Y'all already know who's here. Uh, I said I wasn't going to do the introductions, but fuck it. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. One of the first ladies of Zoom with the homies. Been here since the beginning. I want y'all to clap it up for them goddamn swoops and that bang she got going on. She swooped on over to the... Okay, then. <laughs> yes, yes. My little girl, yes, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for comedian, writer, producer, content creator, Ty Davis in the building. Hey, what's up, Yam yeah, fam? Look, wait. Look, I got all excited. I was waiting to hear applause. That's what happens when you do, you do a show in real life. I'm waiting to hear the real. Ooh. It didn't come. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all. Hey, hey, Yam yeah, fam. What's going on with you? Yeah, Tahir and Nick yeah. and Keisha E. Nice to hey, meet girl, you. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Keisha does not have an emoji. People are asking in the, uh, the chat. Anything that's like dilapidated, like if they got a car with, with ah, flat tires ah. and the emoji, you can use that for Detroit. Don't, don't a car there. accident, you use that for Detroit. Uh, that's messed up to hear. <laughs> don't you dare. Ladies and gentlemen, next up, coming uh, back to the show, this is uh, quickly becoming a weekly favorite. Um, amazing, amazing friend. Just good, good energy to be around at all times, man. Very funny guy. He has a uh, he has sixteen shows out. He's trying to compete with me right now. Sixteen <laughs> fucking shows. He wears a wig on one of them. He's doing karate and he's got a he got a push up challenge he got going on on Facebook. And then he also has an OnlyFans where he's working out naked. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the show, New York's finest um, personal trainer, personal chef for the only place with ramen noodles, uh, comedian and content creative. Y'all put your hands together for Nick Carthan. Bye 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 bye. <laughs> 
Thank you for having me out again to here, man. You got it, man. Hey, how many uh tank tops did you get from Fashion Nova? That one kind of fresh. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm sorry. I want to share the secret, man. During during the quarantine, right? Target became like the new Macy's at one point, right? And they had like mad dope ass tank tops. I couldn't stop. They had Ice Cube, the Ice Cube tank top, they had the boys' mm-hmm. Lily tank top. I didn't get the Taco Bell one because I didn't want to be a fat ass. You know what I'm saying? But this Flash Gordon one was dope. I was like, I got to get the uh, Flash Gordon. So I, I think I spent like $150 in Target. on. And I told myself, I was like, man, I wonder if Target a new shipment this week. So I just kept going and going and going. And I started buying beard oils, right? And uh-huh. I started buying shit that I didn't think I needed in Target. Target won this year. Target won. Hey, listen, you got to do your shopping at Target online and just go to the store and pick up. Because if you go in the store and shop, you're going to spend... Three times more than what you was planning on spending, bro. Every time. Yeah. Keisha, I just want you to know that they are I'm... putting cop cars followed by. No, a first of all, don't car. you do that. Somebody said a baby. Somebody said hard eyes. Somebody said the goat from her story in Africa. <laughs> it was Kyle. No, they got they got the police car and the ambulance. They got <laughs> the regular car being chased by the police car. It is it's great. I'm loving you all of it. You are petty. I love it. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the show. Um, the, I'm the godfather of her unborn child, my new best friend, <laughs> Detroit's Glad favorite uh, hero that made it out. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome back to the show, comedian, content creator, actor, back to the show, Keisha E. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> what up, though? What's poppin'? Good what to up? see you again. I feel like I ain't seen you in a couple hours. It's been a couple of hours it has since you attacked me. I wasn't Dang. an attack. It was just it was a verbal lashing and it was well deserved. Yo, it was well deserved. Huh? Go ahead, Nick. Oh. What'd you say? Okay, no, I said they're putting a taxi in the in the comment section because I can't drive. Hilarious. What the homies don't give a shit, man. Like hilarious. It, 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 oh yo. yo. The, the, the antics that happens on this show follows you into your real day life, right? Like, you get the Zoom fans, you get the Zoom in people in your DMs. They be like, this. so Nick, man, <laughs> what's up with this? Like, yo, somebody was in my DM, like a person, you know, the, so Nick, what's up with this license, man? Like, how, how could I help out the situation? I missed the whole story. You don't, you don't have a license, Nick? Well, Keisha, you, you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not even trying to be funny. No, wait, 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 wait. Please, I know I've never seen this. Please, 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 bless my guests. Bless my guests. Oh. Right now, I'm going to ask all my guests to change the name to, to your cash out so they can bless you real quick. Yo, we're going to have such a fucking fun show, yo. I'm exhausted, guys. I'm exhausted. I got some great news. Uh, I may or may not share it, but I got some fucking fantastic news that had me weeping crying this morning man so um you know depending on how the show goes and may or may not share it but you want to put it uh, in i'm so excited to be it. here the fact that these fucking taxi cabs are still happening that is, is making my heart full with yeah. joy right yeah now. that is That's hilarious mess. i'm about to go put a taxi emoji in okay I, Nick, I i'm sorry please, please no 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 listen listen let me tell you something man let me let me just say this real quick but this, is, this is actually thanks to you, man. I want to say this. It don't bother me because of the fact that yo, your show, your I gotta just say how dope your show is, man. Your, your show has brought so much attention to a lot of stuff. Like I, I was telling, I told Keisha I was in Memphis and I was coming mm-hmm. out of Cracker Barrel, and this dude ran up to me, like, yo, man, you funny as hell. And I was like, I've never performed out here before. So how were you know? He was like, zoom in, man. You don't drive, right? Zoom it, right? <laughs> Like, you don't drive. I didn't know if I was to be like, thank you, or I'm like, hey, nigga. Like, <laughs> Not you don't drive. In Sacramento, Sacramento, zooming with the homie. Like, this, like the show is getting attention everywhere. So the taxi cab shit, I just, I love it, man. It's dope. It's cool, That's man. So funny, bro. Yo, low, low key though. If you made like some some taxi cab thing t shirts, I remember when they was doing the um, <laughs> remember when they were doing all the jackets. With the uh, or the t-shirts with the uh, the metro car, not metro car, but the uh, the subway tab car. Like when they had all of that, they had it all yeah. over everything, bro. You could have the taxi, 
you know, the, the on sign, the, the on guy for the taxi cab, have your, your at Nick Carthan in there, brother. Hey, whatever, fire, boy. You know what I'm oh, my God. Bro, you should. You Yo, should it's a billion taxi. Boy, you've never had a license, Nick? Huh? You've never had a license? Huh? <laughs> nah. No. Okay. Uh, so you should, you should, huh? You can hear. You should make. You should make T-shirts with other niggas' licenses on it. <laughs> but uh, Nick, I thought you said on one of the episodes that you just took the test and you passed. Yeah, recently. So Keisha wasn't on that episode. Now I do. But before, like all the Zoom with like Tahir, Tahir as long as Tahir, Tahir's always known, I've never had a license. So it's always been an ongoing joke. So because of Zoom with the homies. And the constant attacks about the license, it pushed me to go in again. I'm just waiting for the ID to oh, come. Oh, that's why. Yeah. So I was over Nick House last week, and I pulled all the way up in the driveway, and it's like super, when I got to the back, it was like super tight. And to get out, I'm like, damn, I got to bag out. And I was just like, I don't know, right? And Carmen was like, oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You can't get out. I was like, oh, yeah, I just had Nick, you know, bag me out. She was like, no, I'll bag your girl. <laughs> Oh, now it all makes sense. I hid in the back room. So oh, I, like, I don't know how to do that yet. <laughs> hey, look. No, you can go to the house. They can do it. They drive my nigga. No, listen. Like, uh-uh. Carmen told me to pull the car out, right? And and uh, pull it out and do it and bring it back around to park it. I pulled it out in the middle of the street and, and left it like right there. Like, babe, look, you want to you wanted to park this shit? What's up? <laughs> What's BT doing? Uh, you just came in here on some Mortal Kombat. Yo, but you so know, much. but you know they're not gonna trust you, Nick. They not even though you now licensed, nobody's gonna trust you to like yeah. drive them anywhere or like drive their <laughs> car. Cause you just so you you forever gonna be that dude. Nick got a license. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you you gotta worry about no girl fucking your shit up. Man, bring me good times. Come on. <laughs> <It's a razor. laughs> Nick, listen, Nick, you missed so many opportunities to capitalize on it. You could have had a whole t-shirt line called No L's, right? And <laughs> hilarious. It would have been too, it would have been twofold. You ain't taking no L's and you ain't getting no L's. My nigga, like that would have been so dope. You missed out on this, nigga. Now you wouldn't got a license. Now you're a regular nigga. Now you're a regular let me, nigga. Let me tell you something. BT. Probably, I, how many road trips I've been with you on BT back, back and uh, forth? <laughs> a, a few, bro. B, BT would be like this. Look, hey, Nick, all I need you to do, keep me company, <laughs> talk to me. You know what I'm saying? You know, BT be driving up like this. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all wake up, BT eyes like this on the wheel. <laughs> Wait, you got to, but now, now that you drive, you got to go back and do all the driving shit you never got to do. <laughs> you gotta just listen. Next time you have a car, act like don't close your eyes all the way, but kind of close it for a second, and then do like this over the little. If you you ain't had them good thrills yet, nah. You know what I want to do? I ain't gonna lie to you. Nah, first thing you need to do. I like first thing you need to do, Nick, is pick up everybody that gave you a ride and take them to a drive it drive through. And 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 don't let everybody order one at a time. You got to keep going around that bitch for all the times we have to take you home. Everybody got to order order separate. You got to keep going back through the drive through. Then drop everybody else and go pick up everybody else and take them to the same drive through. <laughs> there, you got to take everybody to LAX at five p.m. <laughs> you definitely, you definitely you know, LAX around. Do, you know what I always wanted to do, and I know it's probably like nothing for y'all, but I just can't wait to like. You, I've always witnessed people like have like a breakfast sandwich in their hand, right? And got the the the, the kneecap on the bottom of the wheel and try to <laughs> wait to that shit. Yo, I'll be like, I'm like, yo, when I get my shit, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna try it out. You know, you gotta so be I careful know. in LA because they just be making up rules. So I um when I'm on my way to auditions, I put my makeup on in the car. And one day I'm minding my business in my car, in my personal space, doing my putting on my mascara, and here come the police with a problem. And I'm like, show me where in the constitution it says I can't put mascara on. In my own car. Please break that down to me. You gotta show it to you where, Keisha? In the Constitution. Cool. I just wanted to make yes. that. That's, right. Right. Yeah. That, that's where she wanna see it. 
That's hey, what he said. What she said. Hey, that that yeah, cop was said. like, I wish the fuck <laughs> I would. So you, so you know what happened one time? I um, so my license was suspended, right? And I was just driving on my passport, and I got Dip, pulled over. Typical Detroit shit. Typical Detroit shit. I got pulled over one time. I was in Troy, like in the suburbs, and he was like, you know, license, registration, and insurance. So I had my registration, my insurance, and I confidently handed him my passport. And he's like, ma'am, you know, and I'm like, this is my passport. I'm like, listen, I can fly to Africa. I can buy me a kid on the black market. I can come back with this passport. But you mean to tell me I can't ride on the roads that my ancestors built on a passport? Is that what you're telling me? Yes, like, nigga. <laughs> This nigga said I was driving on my passport like that was okay. Yeah, you know, I was driving around. Right address on it. What more do you want? My ancestors put these roads. Like, you know, I was driving around on my social security card. You know what I mean? I was just. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Sometimes you Yo, gotta do what you gotta do. PT, uh, change your name to your cash app, bro, so the people can bless you. And also, BT is only 650 subscribers away from 10,000 subscribers. Almost away. there, man. Yay. Let's help get him closer to that 10,000 mark you. tonight. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. 650, that ain't shit. We can knock that out tonight, man. So go ahead and subscribe to my Yeah, name. please. You made me follow him on Instagram today. You think he followed back? <laughs> I don't, ha- Keisha. I don't have an Instagram. Look, I don't Listen, have an Instagram. Let me, let me tell you something. He said I don't even have an Instagram. I don't have an Instagram. Look, it's not working. <laughs> if I hold, it, if I hold it like this for the rest of the night, I bet it don't change. He he he, 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 said, he said it earlier today at the at the office while we were filming. He was like, my Instagram ain't been working for the past couple of days. So he look at my said, look at my last post. I'm what you been posting your page. stories for that to happen? Uh, man, I'm. I, I, I'm too many. <laughs> like, yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm gonna post a picture of him without that, without that spray paint in his hair and the Instagram. Like, oh, fuck, no. Yeah. Man, no. <laughs> you you no, should have no, saw no, me yesterday, no, but today. No, no, no. Today they do not know the truth. Today they do not know the facts. <laughs> It was like, I was like, no, no, my dear boy. Yeah, no, no. Let me no. tell you something, because up under underneath these bundles, I need you to know that uh, I look like a shredded mini wheat, honey. I was like, hey. I was like, hey. I had my hair done in eight months. I went to the salon, and she was like, oh, what are we going to do? I said, no leave out. I need you to put a closure. I need you to cover all this up, because I ain't got time. Yeah, Ty got her hair done tonight. Where you coming from? The couch. Did you call your Did you call your Spider-Man boo back? <laughs> OK, so all right, now we got to add context, because you can't just say stuff like that. So so some of my favorite things of, of this pandemic have been the content that you guys have created. Like to hear, you know, wording is hard and Zoom with the homies, Nick with the full disclosure show with Marshall Brandon. So one night I'm, I see BT posted something. <laughs> it was like Discord something, right? And I was like, well, what is this? So I said, well, I'm gonna hop in this thing. So he was doing this binging thing of the Marvel movies. And I've seen a couple of the Marvel movies, but I was like, okay, well, I ain't got nothing but time. So mm. now we're watching it. And I'm I'm like, oh, snap. So that's why in this movie, this happened. I didn't know I was supposed to watch the 16 movies before this. Yeah. So here, I was, she so only I was, watched Endgame and was like, this shit's stupid. Right. <laughs> okay, wait, well, well, right. to hear, to that's hear. It. All right. To, a dual break over. Fix your face. Hold on. Fix your face. To hear. A nigga. Yeah, to hear. A nigga. Is amazing. So what to happened? Hear, was, look. To hear. A nigga look, told her, I love happened. you 3,000. She was like, oh, this nigga corny? If you don't get the. F- no. no. Hey, you didn't know okay, what love you 3,000 was? <laughs> no. To oh. hear. To hear. Uh, to, to, to hear. Look at me. No. To hear. Look at me. Uh, look at me. It's me and you. It's me and you to hear. So what happened was I had a boyfriend, okay? <laughs> me and my boyfriend were together. So when Black Panther came out, he was like, we gonna go see Black Panther together. I'm like, all right, cool. So I go Ooh, see I Black Panther. You. I'm like, oh, so look, I'm like, oh, this is dope. <laughs> so I had seen the Iron Man movies years and years ago, right? So Endgame comes out. Endgame comes out. My boyfriend is like, we are gonna go see Endgame. And I was like, well, I haven't seen Endgame part one. I knew there was like another movie. <laughs> <laughs> so so he was like nah we gonna go see it and I'm like alright cool 
so him and his brother, they went and sat in the movie theater. Help. They shooting by Time House. Give us so, a second. So, ah, fuck. fuck you, nigga. So, look, so, ah, give me back so, my him, so, ah. him, so him and his brother, so, so him and his brother, they went to the movies and they watched all of the movies like back to back to get ready for Endgame. So I'm in Endgame. When I tell you in the lobby of the movie theater, I was like, oh, that's a nice poster. I was like, that's a cute little fox. Everybody in the theater looked at me and was like, I was like, it's, it's not a fox. It's a, it's a raccoon. And I didn't know. So I'm watching the movie and I was like, I don't understand any of this shit. This is crazy. So I fell asleep on the movie. I was like, I mean, I guess it's cool, but whatever. So I fell asleep. So now we binging. We binging in the Discord with BT, watching all the movies. And I was like, oh, shit. That's how that dude I got like that. Oh, so that's what happened when all the people disappeared. And I have <laughs> an appreciation of it. We watching Endgame. And I broke down in tears. Because when that baby said, I love you 3,000, I was like, nigga, that's Ten what thousand. he meant when he said that to me? And I didn't know. And I was like, I'm, I should probably call him and maybe we should get back together because he would be talking to me about stuff. And I'd be like, all right, well, I love yeah. you 3001. I didn't know. <laughs> I don't know. None of y'all talking about it. I'm going to be honest with you. BG, the dude left yeah. child. She called Thanos Batman. She's like, why Batman so <laughs> bad like that? Oh, <laughs> no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everybody stop. Everybody stop. Everybody stop. Everybody stop. Keisha. What? What do you mean you don't know anything about what we're talking about? This feels like um, when I watched Coming to America a couple years ago, and the dude was what? like, what is that, Velvet? And I was like, oh, shit. When I was in high school, this boy used to always say that. And I would be so irritated, like, why don't this nigga know his fabrics? Like, her shirt is cotton. He could say it to somebody in class. And I'm like, this is supposed to be an advanced class. We have to take a test to get into school, and this nigga don't know his fabric, and y'all don't either because y'all laugh. I, I, I just didn't get it. And then I watched it and I was like, oh my God, I got to find him on Facebook and apologize because that he used to irk, like get on my nerve with that. Wait, what year did you watch Coming to America for the first time? Probably like 2016, maybe. What? So this feel, I, I, I get what you're saying, Ty, when you're like, oh, okay. No, 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 no. Don't try to put this on Ty. Don't try to put this on Ty. That, that's, that's worse than Endgame. That's worse that's than Endgame. <laughs> but I you know what? That. But I actually thought what? it was a Black Panther party Keisha, when everybody was talking about it. I, 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 know, I know Keisha, Keisha saw South Central, Men's Society, uh, uh, Cooley <laughs> High, see, Boys in the Hood. Shockers. I did see Boys in the Hood, but no. I watched Baby yeah. Boy the other day. Keisha, yesterday. I mean, Sunday. Keisha. For the first time? <laughs> I'm trying to get my car back, y'all. Keisha. Keisha. Huh? You have said on a number of episodes that Black men in L.A., don't follow <laughs> mm -hmm. now. Tell the team. I was, I was, I was, I was wrecking my fucking brain. Like, why? Ain't nobody trying to holler. She's a nice, she's a she's a nice girl. Young woman. She's intelligent. She's successful. Bouncy hair. Nobody try to holler at Kisha E. I had no, I like and, then, and then you told this blasphemous ass story. About your we life, no, you I'm grew not up in of one of the blackest cities in America, one of the blackest cities in America, and you had the nerve to forego watching coming to America until 26 fucking teen. I <laughs> wish <laughs> the fuck. Oh God is so aggressive in here, guys. I would, Keisha. You know what? I had somebody in mind that I want to introduce you to. He's a good do it. Man, black do it. man that only dates black do it. women and loves them. You know what? You're not ready for that king. You're not ready. You're not ready for that king. To hear, to hear. just don't ever give you a break. As soon as you say, I'm like, I've seen the five herpes. Well, have you seen the temptations? It's five no, niggas no. With, a, with a fucking pump no. wave. What else? Yeah. It's the oh, same thing. To hear. I'm you never satisfied. To hear, protect that man's energy. Do not introduce I him. I'm not going to introduce him. So now you're trying to tell he me should, niggas don't say that because they can just sense that I haven't seen Coming to America or Color Purple or Do the Right Thing. But she saw it. Did she do the right thing either? Or... 
Hugh Jackson or Poetic Justice or Jason Lee. People just sense that is what you're talking about. Keisha, Keisha, Keisha. Did you see Boomerang? Just, just stop. Nobody don't ask. Don't ask her shit else. I know that. <laughs> nobody, nobody talk to Keisha for five minutes, okay? Because right now, Keisha, right now, very right, right fucking now, okay? <laughs> Have you ever had orange soda? Have you ever had the McRib? Hell no, nah. McRib. What? <laughs> You're not about to tell me you got to be black to have a. It's not even a rib in a McRib. What is that? It's pork. Keisha, you dudes don't try to holler at me in LA either. When I'm in LA, they they like don't each try other. To the only dudes, the only dudes that try to holler are comics. Comics with whole families are the ones that try to holler at me. That's because the dudes out here they like each other. They holler families. At me. Well, you know that them niggas oh, are thing. stable. If they can afford a family and trying to holler at you, that nigga, that nigga's stable. Sound yeah. like a good point to me, Keisha. That don't mean uh, he's stable. Ke- Keisha's right, because Keisha was on my podcast and she told dudes how to shoot their shot. And they absolutely the opposite. They jumped in my DM for me to shoot the shot at her for them. So I, it's not Keisha. It, I, 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 I thought it was something wrong, but niggas literally is in my DM like, yo, can you do me a favor? Can you jump in Keisha's DM and tell her I said, what's up? I said, absolutely not. Niggas in but, LA want a pen pal. Like, it's plenty of people in jail if you just want somebody to write. But did they, they ask you, had she... Yeah. Did they ask you had she had seen coming to America? That's what that, I was gonna say, BT. I don't wonder why. It, it, when was Nick? When was this? When was this? We she, if she y'all did, don't get out of here. She did the podcast on the episode dropped on Sunday, and a bunch. Yeah. I had a, oh, so listen over fifty. Hold on. I have, go ahead, Nick, over fifty. Over I, I had a lot of DMs about because a lot of people were shocked. They was like, what? How yo, I was in the barber shop. They was like, yo, I watched the episode. How in the fuck is she single? She's bad. I was like, hey, I don't know. And they were trying to they and but then I realized what Keisha said was right. They was like, this yo, can you hook me up? I'm like, absolutely not. But then there was some dudes that one dude said something that made sense. He said, Keisha looks like the type of chick you bring home to your mom, right? So I was like, what does that mean? It was like, I'm not, I'm not gonna ask her out because I might just want to do something else. That's all right, I get it. So it's yo, Keisha. It's Keisha's fault for looking mama introducing out here in these streets, exactly. all right? What is she doing? Hold up, on, Nick. Hold on, it up, please. Hold on, real quick, what? Nick. It makes sense that it aired on Sunday because I have all of these messages in my, my unknown folder and everybody was like, yo, can you see if Keisha's seen coming to America? And I was I, like- Niggas just what? lie for no reason. <laughs> what? Why would they- Don't do that to Keisha. To, Don't do to that hear, to her. Nah. To hear, you can't introduce no woman to your mama ain't seen coming to America. Uh, oh, no. no you can't. She get saw that, it. I was studying my mother. Y'all going to gloss over the fact that I've seen it. Y'all going to act like but I haven't she, seen it. She, she, she saw it, you guys. Right, right, she's it's just it like, right. she, Too many years. Okay, she saw it. She saw it in 2016. Nick, you just got your driver's license yesterday. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's what you should have been doing while you were oh, coming to America. You should have had your ass in driver's train. Oh, How about that? Thank you. They shooting. Oh, you man, you, look. you gotta protect each other. You know what I'm saying? That you, I'm not about to. You, we, we got a black vice president female in the house right now. I'm gonna protect my sis. I'm gonna stand up for her. Thanks, boo. Okay. Better late than never. Y'all always want a woman to wait for you to be ready. It took her till 2016 to see coming to America, but she ready now. She saw it now. So, so now what? Still ain't trying to take nobody home to your mama. Y'all want to be a mom like we BT, did you see the fucking shots go by? I had to go, nigga. Because I I thought a nigga that just got a license said something. No, you said something. All right, I'm going. I don't think he said nothing. <laughs> oh, cause I that cause that's what I thought, Keisha. I thought a nigga that just I got thought, a license. I thought he did, but I don't. I don't that's think what I thought. Oh, all right, he ain't saying. Oh, hey, Nick. I, hey, what's wait, up? wait, wait. To hear was talking more shit than I was. Right? Oh, Nick, I, got my L's, <laughs> I got my L's though. I got my L's though. What you doing, Nick? I just dropped you off the other day. Don't you play me like this? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> don't you do it? All right. <laughs> if I didn't sin for you, you know I love. Black Don't people. come. <laughs> All right. I, I can't believe. You, huh? I can't believe you. You know what else I haven't seen? 
You want to keep going? No, Keisha. Keep just going. Stop. Let keep going. Go. What else? Let you, know what? Let, you know what? You know what? This is why. Let us purple. This is why. <laughs> let, us, let, let, us purple. Catch our, let us catch our breath, Black Dynamite. <laughs> you want what, what else? else? The whiz. The eyes. What is it? The whiz? It's right. overrated. You don't have to watch that. Exactly. A lot of stuff is not good that y'all be saying is like, you gotta see. Nah. I'm not. I'm not mad at you for uh for what did you say before the weird for color purple? Color purple is hey, mad over. Nobody can even tell me what that movie is about. I'm like, what is it about? Slavery struggle. What that movie is super overrated. <laughs> Slavery was super, struggle. That movie had some re- some good performances, some good some good acting, and some moments, but it's not like cohesively a good film. Y'all said I had to see Baby yeah. Boy, and who uh, said what? You got to see Baby Boy. It's a classic. No, nope, nobody said that. Seen. Nobody. Who said that? Everybody. Oh. I was like, I was. This thinking, is what I need you to do. I don't need you to put coming to America like, when none of this movie. other shit you've named. None of it. I can I tell y'all something real quick. I'm gonna start watching movies, guys. Give me a give me a chance. Shit. Um. So y'all know, Farron and I got the podcast out more to the story on the first one, episode. We were talking about um, sexting and dictures and all of that type of stuff, right? And I told her before we aired, I was like, "Listen, the reason I kept you in the in the in the in the you know in, in the back seat, in the passenger seat, is to protect you from the shit. When this shit air, shit gonna start getting weird, all right? Shit gonna start getting weird. And, and sure enough, last week when the episode aired, somebody hit her with the hey." Saw the episode, was wondering if I could send you a dick pic. She was like, uh, thank you for asking. Ah. But, but no, I, I respectfully declined. And she, he was like, cool, I respect that. You know, just letting you know I got them on deck if you, if you need one, right? <laughs> so today, somebody just like, yo, I'm watching a podcast. It's so funny. Can I send you a dick pic? She doesn't even get a chance to respond. He said, with all respect, you're a beautiful woman. And I watched the podcast, you and T got super funny, love y'all, and just sends the dick pic. Sends the dick pic. This nigga said, I love you and T. Super funny. <laughs> oh, love he's y'all. Get in the By the way, yeah. penis. What you By trying to do? Way, dick. And this Me. is why this is why people try to protect their families from, from this type of shit. Because I, I told her, I was like, yo, this is how this shit's gonna go. And she was like, oh, it's fine. And she ain't tripping. I mean, she tripping, but she ain't tripping like that. You know, she just blocked and reported them, that type of stuff. You didn't think it would go that way, though. It always... It go that way for women. It always go go that way for women pretty consistently with minimal effort. No, what I mean... always talking about threesomes. Now you got to do that and shot a shot. I'm saying, but to hear is running the... Clearly, that's his wife. I wouldn't think no one would uh, like just invitation just send. He's trying to get at both of them. Like, what you mean? He's trying to get at both of them. That's that's not, that's not what the message says. Keisha, Keisha, you message, you the star, message did say that Keisha and also did inbox. <laughs> he said, "I love y'all, Keisha, dick trick. What does that? Keisha, what, does Keisha, that sound Keisha, what you like? trying to do right now? What you trying I love to do right y'all now? Dick is very. What you're trying to do right now is very indicative of someone who just saw coming to America. Okay. <laughs> Because someone that saw years ago would know that no one would ever do that to somebody that I say, she's your queen. You don't do that if you sang that, you okay. sang that song to it. You don't do that. But you just saw the movie, so you don't know all the rules or regulations that are applied to it. The context <clears throat> I love y'all. I got, I got a question. Go ahead, Go ahead, Ty. Go ahead honey. Because Take I- a chance. <laughs> I'll marry you if you're really a friend. Okay, go on, so, honey. Take a chance. <laughs> literally, literally, last night I had this conversation because a dude sent me not a not a picture, but a video of him pleasuring himself mm. in my Twitter DMs. Mm-hmm. And I don't care what I say. I don't care how you feel about my pictures or if you think I'm attractive or if you think I'm funny, what is it that makes a man think that his dick is so amazing and that needs to be seen? First of all, I've been fucking since the 1900s. How many dicks do you think I've seen? Sir? I've seen a whole lot of dicks. 
We from the tip your hat. Okay. Here. Your dick, your dick wasn't wrapped in hundred dollar bills. If you want to get my attention, show me some shit I ain't never seen before. But your regular dick, you know how many regular nigga dicks I've seen before? I ain't never been to the Vatican. Take me to Rome, nigga. Show me something I ain't never seen before. Get your <laughs> goddamn. Regular raggedy dick ass about my goddamn DMs violating my boundaries. And the dude that sent Farron that message, you clearly have no respect or no morals because you sent this to a married woman after she has already expressed that she is not interested. So here's a public service announcement, fellas. I don't care how big you meet Miss Alice. I don't care how greased up you got it in your photo or what filter you put on it. If she don't ask for a picture of your meat, don't send it to that woman, okay? That's not how you get us. And if you gonna send a dick picture, at least send it along with some additional attachments, i.e. your credit score, your last sexually transmitted disease results, and also, are you still in contact with your mama? What's your relationship like with your daddy? What do your baby mamas and your ex girl like? Send your whole history. Don't send your regular ass dick in my DMs. Don't nobody want to see regular dick. And, so, and studs yeah. and studs that go for you too. Don't send your strap ons out there. <laughs> all right, your different color strap ons that goes for you because they because they think they slick. Ty talk about y'all too. Don't be sending all different color your strap on out. Yeah, to people. nobody want to see that. Oh, and then, and if you gonna send it, at least present the package. This is marketing. You gonna send your damn unmanicured ass dick to me <laughs> with all these goddamn knotted up. Comb it out. Put some moisturizer on it. Pink oil moisturizer. Put some soap. You gonna send your raggedy Brillo pad looking pubes to me. You ought to be ashamed of yourself with your regular dick ass. Get out of here. Raggedy, regular. You know what's funny? I heard I had a lot of women tell me dudes do that. I'm not even trying to be funny. I I, I didn't think that was like a real thing. I didn't think dudes that sent that sent dick pics uh, for no I reason. Niggas, niggas send us. I, I'm gonna tell y'all what it is too. I, I I only know this because I speak nigga fluently. I have never ever once in my entire life ever sent an unsolicited dick pic ever. All right. I just speak nigga. I know niggas so well. I grew up around them. A lot of my friends are niggas. I speak it fluently. Niggas will go to your page, right? They will see all the pictures you have. Very beautiful, very seductive, very sexy pictures, right? And so they automatically put you on a certain level, right? Because you're beautiful. You might put some funny captions in there. Oh man, this is this is amazing. This is great. She so they figure, they figure. If you see the message, they have to lead with their best asset. <laughs> that's how niggas think. They think like I gotta, I gotta say something that's just gonna win an offer immediately. And they don't go with comedy <laughs> most times because everybody ain't funny. Most of these niggas ain't built, so they can't just show off the six pack and a V. So they say, "Fuck it, I'm sending a dick." <laughs> right? That's what I'm. I'm sending this dick in strong, and so they jack it off a little bit. They get it to a point, but at the time they're probably using their phone, so they can't look at porn and they, use the camera phone, right? So they the trying to joke. You know, good and well, you don't get no good erection just jacking it for memory. So they send you a midget. <laughs> they send you a three fourths hard dick, right? There's a raggedy regular three fourths hard dick, and they send it. Pow! Send a picture. Might throw a picture, a filter on it, but they ain't put no lotion on it because it was it was spared a moment. I gotta, I gotta. When this motherfucker over, but that's that sepia tone on it. So you say, but but, but that's my point. That, but that's my point. So you expect me to sit here and let all three of you black men, you strong kings, chastise my sister Keisha E because she hasn't seen coming to America from two since 2016 when it's the same niggas that done watched coming to America 7,432 times. Since it came out, sending a regular raggedy dick to her. Yeah. How dare you? Hold on. Hold on. We got nothing to do. Hold yeah. on. We got nothing to do with those ashy dick unrequesters sending dick pics. You know, we don't we don't back them. In all fairness, there was a lot of niggas that saw 
coming to America that didn't send their dick. Let's just yeah, yeah. You know, hey. Because coming to America is a classic. Saying, I'm just saying, if you gonna if you gonna leave with your best asset, don't send your dick. Send a yes. picture of your driver's license. Pow pow, bang bang. Wow, you got to think wait, about this. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Why am I getting confused with the dick pic setting? What, what, that, what? That, was a, that, that was an unnecessary shot. <laughs> and I loved you. <laughs> we had good times in the quarantine, huh? It is a lot of strange. It is a lot of strange. Wait, wait a minute. That was like Ty invited me to come across the street and just shot me for no reason. I'm out here eating slices of pizza. She just shot okay. me. I'm, I'm sorry. You know what? My bad. But I'm just just think of just like if you're leading with your best attribute, you telling me that the best that you can offer me is your is your regular dick to you. And I ain't a hoe all the time, but I, I've had phases. Do you know how, sir, do you know how many dicks I've seen? Do, do, like, really, like in real life. Now, I'm not talking about porn. We're not even going to add in the dicks I've seen from porn. You're talking about live. We're not adding, about, we're not adding we, I'm not talking about the dicks that I've requested dick pictures. I'm not talking about dicks that I've seen in movies or in porn. I'm talking about how many actual regular dicks you, you, have been in my face. More than the you Avenger think members? That yours is the best one. <laughs> you, you think yours is the best one. You, this is this is what you have to offer. This is the best. And then women already know, fellas. If you you really want to know how women think, just because you got a big dick or a nice looking dick, don't mean you know how to use the motherfuckers. How many times we got to sit there and teach y'all how to work the bells and the whistles of what it is? Some of you niggas walk around with a big dick and don't even know where my clitoris is. Get your goddamn regular dick ass out of here. Ty, you know what you do? Next time somebody send you a dick pic, this is what you're gonna do. You take the picture, right? Draw a face on it, right? Draw like a like a face, like two eyeballs, a nose, and a doofy smile, and then put it, put it in your uh in your in your group chat. You know what I'm saying? And embarrass them. Just embarrass them. Embarrass them out there. Put like a goofy face on the dick pic and just let everybody see it. That's the only way they're gonna stop. No, um, they're not gonna stop. Like I they're not like, they're not gonna stop. They're not gonna stop. I get these they, like often, like it's they get they, they get off throwing their dick off. <laughs> think about That's it crazy. like this. Think, of, think about it like this, like with, with all of the jokes aside, if a man were to walk up to a woman in public, in, in real life, and expose himself to her, he will get arrested because that's indecent exposure at the bare minimum. You have committed a crime. And if so it's a school clothes, it's okay. You're a pedophile. You, and if, and that's then you're, exactly. So mm -hmm. why do you think it's okay for you? What you have done is you have literally engaged in sexual assault in the rape culture that we keep trying to tell people about and 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 because it was just like oh that's how men do oh, okay imagine your little baby girl I'm your a, sweet little baby girl I'm gonna tell my mom her own damn business this I'm gonna tell my mom, she, I'm gonna tell her my computer mom, phone because there's a lot of dick talk and man. some and, so, and somebody sends your baby girl a picture. You understand what I'm saying? So like, it's the severity behind it. It's because when a dude sends me a dick picture, I'm not thinking, oh, this nigga's trash. I'm thinking he is a rapist. He's a sexual deviant. He is a pervert. This nigga is sick. Gotcha. This is the type of nigga that'll take some ass from me. And if you talk to me long enough and put enough drinks in me, I might be down. But don't just throw your dick in my face and I didn't ask you for it. I, I agree. Now, yeah, titties, on the other hand, you can send them motherfuckers. Send them goddamn titties. I ain't never bored with a send them. Send the titties. <laughs> okay, send the titty. Okay, but, so let's talk about time. the Wait, wait, time. Well, in wait, all fairness, know. in all fairness, don't send your pussy to me, though. I don't yeah. want just, I, I don't want just monkey in my face. Before, I don't want full ooh, ooh, ah, ah in my face. This, but, but that's, that's a little crass, ma'am. Now, them titties, bring them on. But the... When I was single, I used to hate vaginas. But I got forty-year-old. They look Draculish. But 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 that's my point. But but see, that's my point, BT. I got forty-year-old titties. These titties look amazing when they sitting up on the kickstand. They look fantastic. They look succulent. When I take these bitches off, they look like soggy, sad pears. You want me to send you my titties while it's tucked underneath? Wait, wait for it. Tell it to here. A nigga don't care, Ty. Nigga don't care. Listen. Listen, there are still grown men. There are still grown men that will eat off the floor. Them niggas will say three second rule, five second rule, or still eat off the floor, even with a pandemic going on right there. You think you think a nigga gonna care? Ain't about to waste no food. Right? They don't care. 
Them niggas don't care. But 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 understand what I'm saying. Like behind that, if I'm trying to get a man, if me, I'm a single woman. If I want a man to 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 consider me and and think of me in a serious way, why I'm a lead with my soggy sad pair of titties? Why why would I? That's not the best part of me. That's not the best part of me. I might as well send him a picture of me without my goddamn wig on. <laughs> why would I lead with that? You can't see my personality or my punchlines in my picture with me without my wig. And don't, a, a coochie picture, now that's something you need to get up and close to personal to see. You can't see my dangling meat curtains out my goddamn bagel. Hell no, I got to tuck it and Nigga, did you call your pussy a bagel? It Wait. It's bagel. a bagel with a little bit of pastrami. Yeah. You know, you know, a little bit, a little, little bit of prosciutto out. hanging out that motherfucker. Just a, just a, just a switch, not a lot. <laughs> oh, you know, little, there's a little bit of pastrami hanging off that thing. Okay, <laughs> just so, a <laughs> just say I got, I had two kids. Shit, it, I got a whole like Reuben sandwich like hanging out. I got damn draws. It, it <laughs> don't look like how it looked when I drove it off the lot. I got a point A to point B pussy. It's gonna get me to where I need to go, and it's gonna get me back home. I ain't got time to be sitting here trying to lie to y'all. That I got the top of the line. Oh, I got the top of the line. Zero miles. This motherfucker got two hundred seventy-five thousand miles on it, but it still run because I, I keep the Toyota. maintenance up. It's a Toyota. I keep the maintenance up. That's what it's like. That's It'll what run forever. Toyota. That's a good, that's a good uh, vagina Toyota. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm super good Thank on pussy you. pictures. Yeah, I don't it's, like it's, it's like it's like an Avalon. It's like my coochie's like a Toyota Avalon. It ain't a Lexus, but you know uh -oh. it do all right. No, oh, um, it's still le it's still leather interior. Oh, so, um, I heard that uh, some of the leather is cracked, but it do all right. Uh, it do all right. Ticket Master is requesting that if you come to an event in 2021, you have to have the vaccine. You have to have had the vaccination, or you have to had just had uh, a COVID test proving that you are negative. If you plan on going to any events held by Ticketmaster. How y'all feel about that? Yeah, have you taken, has, has anybody taken the test? That's dumb. Well, you can take I take, I've taken a test a number of times now. I gotta take one more, actually. It hurt. No, it don't. I'm not taking it, but like, no, me. you can catch COVID that night. And then you go to the concert the next day or two days later. Well, you're supposed to take your ass home after you take the test, especially if you take it like for a production, you're supposed to like take that bitch after you've done all your running around and take your ass home and not leave so the house. I'm, I'm, I'm going to take the test to see if I'm negative to put myself back in harm's way the next right. day. At the, uh, I'm good, man. Yeah, I'm taking I'm, 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 I'm not doing Zoom it. Show. <laughs> I'll, I'll take as many, uh, I'll take the test. I took the test and it wasn't nowhere near as bad as everybody be saying. I had and one it, that was bad. Yeah, it was like tickle, tickle. And I was like, <laughs> And then it was all, <laughs> it was real good. Yeah, yeah, snarf, snarf, snarf. And then it was, <laughs> snarf, 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 snarf. Yeah. And then it was like, oh, that wasn't that bad. It was like, but I would take that. I'm not messing with that vaccine, though. Yeah. No, I don't, don't trust the vaccine, but this is what they're going to do. I don't watch, take flu watch, shots. Watch. I'm not taking the vaccine. I don't let, me, let me tell y'all something real quick. And if this video ends up being taken down, y'all know it's because I'm giving y'all this truth. Uh -oh. Pfizer. <laughs> Pfizer, the company that is supposedly 90% done with this vaccine, is one of the shadiest medical companies out there. You understand what I'm saying to you? They had a $2.3 billion settlement against this medicine called Baxter, uh, which they were mislabeling and, and giving doctors payouts for. They had to pay $10.75 yeah, $10 million in fine. Uh, for a settlement for lying about a heart valve. Uh, they had a $60 million deal um, suit, a $60 million suit um, for this other med medicine. And what was it? $430 million um, for manipulating studies mm. um, that they did, just trying to sell more stuff. And then they had to pay $142 million um, over this, uh, what is it? It was called new routine marketing that they were like just marketing a specific group um they had another 45 mil the point is they shady as fuck okay mm -hmm. they had said that they were going to give all this medicine to africa to help with aids and all of this you know um medicine for aids and hiv they didn't do that 
At the last minute, they pulled out. Pfizer is on some shit. And they're the only ones right now that are saying that they're 90% done with the with the whole thing. And I'm sure that's what Trump was going to unveil. Yeah, you know, Pfizer had a very good drug. That's how I bounce back. All of that shit. And what these, these, these what everybody's going to start doing is they're going to be like, Hey, you should get the vaccine. Hey, you should get the vaccine. Hey, you should get the vaccine. Then it's gonna get, it's gonna change. The verb is gonna change to if you don't get the vaccine, you don't care about the rest of the world. You don't care about your family. You don't care about your your uh um the, the other employees at your job. Then it's gonna change it to you can't come here unless you've been vaccinated. That's what exactly what's gonna happen. It's gonna be a three mm-hmm. stage thing. You guys are gonna see it, and I'm telling you, I'm telling you, right. that's how you're gonna. Yep. Pfizer's on all types of bullshit. They have, they, they have a history of yeah. corruption. So just, just be aware. Just, what does Ticketmaster want you to do? You just have to show them like on the screen that you... Um, yeah, I guess like on your phone screen, possibly. I mean... Who, who's in concert? Anybody who needs yeah. you to the vaccination <laughs> in me right now, I can fix that shit up for you. I'm not taking no test to see Mims, so I'm. I'm yeah, a- it, it depends on who's the concert. <laughs> you want me to get a COVID test to see Ja Rule? Get your ass out of here. That's all. I need, I need to know who's performing and what songs they're doing. Beyonce, it would have to be some Beyonce type shit for me to take that test, but I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now. All right, they do the No Limit All Stars. I'm I'm good. I'm, you ain't doing it for me, X. <laughs> Fiend? No. What about Fiend? Yeah. Hey, listen, if they had the listen, if they had the no limit all stars, if they had Mac out of jail, if they had C Murder out of jail, Mystical, if he could stay out of jail, Mia XP and Silk could come and do three songs, but that's it. He do more than three songs. I'm leaving a fucking concert. Wait, they gotta and they, and they gotta have Mercedes in the back doing the album cover the whole time. That's it. She don't do no songs. She just gotta be on top of the Mercedes doing that. <laughs> she gotta be no. doing for the album cover. If she then I then I I might consider it. You know what I mean? If they this, let that, Lumi I'll D, risk it all for that. If they I'll let risk it all D, for that concert. If they let Lumi D do all ten of her remixes, <laughs> I, I might reconsider. If she did a uh oh uh, read this, Lumi D. What's hey, up? The bust. <laughs> I will go ahead and talk. I she would only do it. I would, I would only do it for a concert with Lil Mama, Bow Wow, Soldier Boy, and Skilo. They gotta bring back Lil Sammy. If they bring back Lil Zane and Lil Zammy. We, no. gotta, we got ourselves a concert. Sam, well, Sammy's still putting out music. Sammy's still putting out. Now, Lazane, I don't know what happened to Lazane. Keisha, get off your phone. Get on your phone one more time. <laughs> if they got the so cold, the so cold and D girls, I'm down there. You know oh no! Oh wait, no, wait, you talking about you talking about Keisha's cousins? Keisha's cousins. Oh, it's so cold. <laughs> Y'all don't even know. Y'all don't even know she got a remix to that shit. To it's so cold. Are you serious? Look up. You know it though. It's so called in the remix. She came back. Do auto. you know it though? <laughs> Do you know the words? You don't know that one, huh? Me? Do you know the words though? I know all the words. Mason to the remix. Yeah, yeah little, little Saint was on. Go ahead, it. go ahead, speak, Keisha. Every single day. Like that was little my favorite. Was my every day, I was like, "Yo, if she can do this shit, so can I." Like, no, I Nick, you know who got to be there. Do it. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. JT Matthews. <laughs> Yo, how are you doing, BG? He say, everybody, give it up for JT Matthews. Look at Keisha uh, Bay. Look at Keisha uh, Bay. Uh, God damn it. Uh, <laughs> and you shot me for this. <laughs> you don't know what we're talking about. Listen. Okay, y'all not gonna keep getting on her because All right, she hold knows hold the hold words hold to that hold song up. that we don't know. Hold up. Thank you, Ty. Thank you. What's your Keisha, favorite movie? Keisha knows the words to that song that we don't Belly. know. Keisha, what's your favorite movie? Belly. Oh, okay. Huh? Remember the Who's movie? Kiana? Who's Kiana? Belly. No, 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 Kiana. No, no, fucking Kiana. Yeah, all right, Keisha good. Keisha good. Yeah, I love that. I like Hype Williams. I like video directors in general. Yeah. I will say this. There was an episode of Zooming with the Homies that we did 
and we said, what song do you know all the words to? Mm -hmm. All the words. Is there a song that you know all the words to? Mm -hmm. What song is it? Rap. Because Ty, Ty did Ether, and she bodied the fuck. Are you, you serious? She, cold. she was in this motherfucker. I know both of them. Six in the Tybo class. Tybo ho, trying to work it out. <laughs> yeah. oh. While she was smoking, too. She was uh, 35 in the karate class. You Tybo ho, trying to work it out without missing a beat. She was in this motherfucker. So what word, What song do you know word for word? Mm. Um, I know a lot. I mean, rap songs off the top of I mean, get just give us a verse off of, off of the song that you know uh, all the words. I support you, sis. Go ahead, queen. She finna fuck it up. I, I got a song for all y'all. Let's go. Let's oh, wait a start. minute. Right. You gonna start from the verse? <laughs> nah, just stop. Yeah, start from the verse. Wherever you want to go. Right. Yeah. You you you, the, you right. the karaoke winner. Let's go. Let's go. I think it's time I made a song for niggas who know me. I graduated out the streets. I'm a real OG. I've been trapping, shooting pistols since I stood four feet. So while you niggas acting mad, you gonna have to show me. You gonna make me bring the Chevy to a real slow creep. My niggas hanging out the window, mouth full of gold teeth. When the guns start popping, wonder when it's gonna cease. The chopper hit you in the side and create a soul leak. We can end the speculation, cause today we gonna see what's the future of a pussy nigga hating on me. I give a fuck about the feds investigation on me. I don't care that they at my show and they waiting on me. I'ma keep on flaws and popping long as truth is on the beat. So police is I ain't stopping. I'ma keep it in the streets. Contrary to your belief, I'm as real as you can be. So fuck your thoughts and your feelings, nigga. You don't know me. You don't know me. Oh, yeah. Keisha, Come on. Keisha, nigga, you don't know me. Oh, motherfucking Keisha. Hey, look at her. Look at her trying to play it cool, though. Look at her. That's right. Hey. That's right. You look flex, sis. Hmm. I'm not gonna see you coming to America, but y'all don't know me. Mm. You don't know her. All right, hold on. I see. I see another shot coming. Let me get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel like <laughs> Nick, Nick got to do one. Nick, uh, you got to do yo, one. Yo, listen. I yo. So everybody knows I'm a big little Kim fan. That was the first thing I ever bought. I know all the words to Big Mama thing. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> well, I gotta go say pause, mad times. I gotta say pause, mad times. And another shit. one. I used to be scared of the pause. Now I don't lift to the pause. Headed it like a real <laughs> bitch. Head the hunter, jet it, jack me, check it in the pause. Yeah, that's what I got mad in Switzerland, but then in the spring. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, big mama thing. Can't you tell by the diamonds in my ring? That's how many times I want to pause. 21 and another one and another one and another one. 24 carrots, nigga. That's when I'm fucking with the average nigga. <laughs> but here's the thing. You don't say pause when you singing it when you by yourself, though. What? All right. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, oh. Uh, oh. yo! I thought me and Ty was shoot. Yo, Ty is shooting me, and she next to my screen. She just over here. Pew pew. pew. Cause in this climate, I have to stand tall and support my sister, and I don't like the way y'all was coming at her. I love Keisha. I be supporting Keisha. Uh, you know I love saying? Keisha. Keisha, Keisha, come on. <laughs> All right, I ain't gonna do it no more, Nick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I gotta do the Ja Rule. Keisha! <laughs> <laughs> I always gotta call your name like a baby mama. <laughs> but I was proud of you, Nick. I was the one that said, you know, congratulations. I'm proud of you that you went and you, you got the thing. So I'm happy for you. Thank you. You can't Nick. drive my car, though. That's dead. <laughs> Uh, I need you to have that bitch for like about five years before you can get behind the wheel of my shit. Are and you I'm though? I'm driving a 2008. All right, BT is on you. Is it on me? Right. Yep, let's go, BT. I, I don't know what to do. I was sitting up here thinking that I came up with nothing. R&B or hip hop? Whatever. You doing hip hop, bro? Do your don't song. Try to, don't try to do no singing shit. Do your song. <laughs> you said do do my song. <laughs> do your song. <laughs> do, your, do your song specifically. Yeah, specifically. 
Come back to me. So fly, they call me Tuskegee. I didn't say come back to you. Right. That's so not here. You want to do another one? I'll do another one. That shit is dope. That shit is actually that, that shit is really dope, man. I appreciate I it, man. I know the, I obviously know the lyrics of that, but that's a cop out. All right, here we go. I'm gonna I'm do New since, Troy Ave song. Since Keisha came with 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 the TI so perfectly, right? I'm gonna have to do my my. This was the first song that put me on the TI. Still to this day, is one of my top five TI songs, and the shit sounds so good in, in, in the old school with a good system in that bitch. And the shit he was saying, you got to really listen to the words when, when T.I. was spitting on this last verse. The last verse of What's Your Name? <laughs> this nigga was spitting, dog. So <clears throat> he said, uh, oh, how it go? I bet some niggas think I can't get when I take her out. We'll come this week, just watch me break her fucking bank account. Eventually, the PSC, hey, we gonna take this out and grab the earth by the ankles and shake the paper out. Nigga, I bought my paper route, so we gonna make a route. Anybody blocking my road to riches, I'm gonna take and bow. Keep running your mouth, making up their mind. Keep running your what is shit? Hold on. Keep running your mouth, making up your mind. We got some bees about. Me, I'm gonna get a whole. I lost it. I lost the fucking beat of it. <laughs> That's okay. You did good. I bring a whole in and then, then I leave them out. Ah, I can't. I don't know how the words. Fuck it. I need. I need the song. I thought I knew more words than I did. It would be like that. You gotta listen to the beginning of it, bro. I know, I know, but I don't want to do it now. I quit. Hey, man, I'm so quarantine, right? <laughs> I'd be obliged if you step outside because my ride is a waiting. We dating and Satan been nightcap relating. I'm waiting. I smell some perfume that I inhale and then tell I will. We raise hell on the diesel. Satin sheets be from your feet. Keep me warm. The mood is perfected from the sounds of the storm. You came stronger. I lasted longer than I ever lasted. Your mouth was fantastic. The fuck test you passed it. The way you made a nigga last. I had to get you. And when I saw that ass pass, I had to hit you. You're making me fight against my will. What would you do? Would you kill for me? Yeah, if my life's in danger too. Even steal for me? Yeah, if that shit belongs to you, then feel for me. Yeah, if the way you act is true, who knows buying clothes? Lexus Doge, you be closing when you become one of the chosen. Froze in different cases, different places, different cases. Got me tied like shoelaces. No mistake, it's MJG, you ain't got to be occasionally trying to shoot that P, claiming that you ain't heard of me, keeping it real, let them know how you feel when we communicate, you be space, when you express your mind instead of preferring the way, some who can't do it, lose women, but a nigga like me used to is space age pimping. New oh. day, new day. <laughs> Every once in a while, this is how we play the game. New day, hey. new age. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's my that's my shit. Hey, I remember when I first learned Twister mm. on Adrenaline Rush. Mm. I had never amazing heard album. Anybody rap like that in my life? That nigga said, to put it simple, you ain't cold enough, tripping up like you can't control the stuff, like you nigga, like you know the bus in a different zone for us. You niggas need to sit the fuck down, get a switcher, and roll us up. If you think it's picking to bowl, what's up? I ain't even know the whole shit. Plus, the mom's so thick. I'm the type of nigga you just want to get him close to it, take a smoke quit. If it's dropping to check your click, my mom's so sick. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> nigga, this is before the lyrics was in the shit. I had to listen to that tape so many motherfucking right. times to get yeah. that. I was like, nigga. <laughs> right, right. I never experienced anybody like Twister before, dog. That shit, like, he, yeah, he's yeah. under he and even with throughout the we respect the skill set, but he don't get respected enough as a lyricist. Bro, if he, did, if he did it without the speed, it'd still be an amazing bars. Hey, you know who else got some dope ass bars? You remember this song right here? I mean you no harm. Hold on, hold on, cuz I can't sing these songs no more. Hey, <laughs> thanks, man. Hey, one, two, three, three. get it. <laughs> Let, do, 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 do. <laughs> Look, look, look at, look at Keith's face. <laughs> hey, Curtis, I got a brand new car. <laughs> what? Mercedes Benz. <laughs> Jimmy want more? 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 He said hey. they're talking about dream girls. That's Yo, the, the dream Ty, girl. Ty is over there like this. Petty, Girl, look, look at Ty's face. Girl? Petty, once again, let me remind you. <laughs> 
Y'all well, I'm like this. Look, girl, I can't keep doing this shit. I can't keep shooting, Nick, if you don't know these movies. <laughs> <laughs> girl, God damn, I'm running out of bullets. I'm running out of fucking bullets. <laughs> I know you want my spot flash. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You ain't gonna get it. Cause you, Cause you ain't, ain't got, got it. Oh, hey, down, hey. down, down, down. That's a draw four card. Down. That's a draw four card. You, okay, okay. you know that line, you good. <laughs> You know what people don't realize? Five Heartbeats ain't a good movie. Flash is a way better leader than fi- than Jimmy the Eddie Kane was. Way mm-hmm. better. First of all, Flash first of all. is way better lead man. Than Eddie no. Kane? Way better. No. He was a better leader. He was a way better, better. No, he was a better leader though, because Eddie Kane watched his manager get killed. You know what I'm saying? He set his he set his manager up. Remember when Dresser came in there? He was like this. He was like this, just dress. Oh, yeah. Dresser, dresser. You killed him. <laughs> Yo, like this look. I'm sorry. First of all, he didn't set him up to be killed. He just knew some bad shit was going wait, down. And know, everybody okay. knows. Wait, wait, Ty. He that, said this. He said, "I don't need no manager trying to replace me." <laughs> he knew what was going on. Yo, Big Red was like this. He was like this. How's Eleanor? Eleanor. <laughs> Eleanor. Eleanor. <laughs> How did the top? He said, the top Eleanor. He said, Eleanor ain't got nothing to do with it. She said, maybe not. Maybe. <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> he said, maybe not. <laughs> How you blow out the top? He said, maybe not. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, that, and Flash, let me tell it. That's when the hits came. You see who had a career when it was all said and done. <laughs> and it was still touring. He was on TV with the white boys. You know, he fell victim. Eddie Kane gonna come back at the end of the movie after that oh. crack run. Oh, oh, I feel <laughs> you like going on. And just like the black woman by his side, she like this. Oh. She was over there backing her man up with them. That was baby doll. Hold it down. I feel that is. Hilarious. I mean, but if you, if, but did you, if you think about it, <laughs> Duck and JT stop talking to each other. The movie. Flash didn't come to that barbecue, and you know why? He was out getting Grammys. You know what I'm saying? With them old niggas. Because he dropped his album, Flash It's Lonely at the top. Yeah. In two weeks. <laughs> this, two nigga, weeks. this nigga left the group and said, yeah, it's such a sad day and such a great day. It's a sad day because this is my last day as a heartbeat, but it's a good day. You can check me out on my new album, Flash It's Lonely at the top. Lonely at the top. <laughs> How Duck Brother was like this. You don't love him. You love me. You love me. I miss you. I'm broken with you. <laughs> but wait, can we can we talk about how can we talk about how technically Duck stopped speaking to JT for the wrong reason? Because he thought that choir boy and JT had hit his girl, and that's not what happened. JT hit her long before. Him and her ever got together, so he stopped talking to his brother for years because right. he hit her a while ago. He, he, you know what I mean? Like technically, you shouldn't have stopped talk, stop speaking to your brother. But Duck was a cornball. <laughs> First of all, no, he wasn't. He was amazingly yeah, talented, what? and he was the one that broke the song. If it wasn't for music, sister, if it wasn't for his sister finding all little pieces of tissue, he wouldn't have been Why shit. He sang all of those songs. It's, it's, it's my music. It's my music. You know who had the best line in the movie? Uh, choir boy. Remember, choir boy was like this. Yo, they call me Rock. <laughs> Yo, they call me Rock. I wrote on the song. He, oh, he said like this. Yo, I know I can do his parts. I can do his parts. <laughs> Oh. And ain't nobody in that movie called you rock ever, choir boy. Go sit your <laughs> whole ass down. Everybody in the movie was flawed as a heartbeat except for Flash. Flash just came for the business. 
Y'all need a lead, man. I got you. If y'all don't want Flash me with you, I still, I'm good either way. Either I can rock with y'all or I can go back to singing my old shit. It's it only, it only at the top. It's only at the top. It was watching Flash. Who, 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 who are you ready? <laughs> it was watching Flash at the family barbecue. Remember they was like this? Yeah. And I came. You want to get down? He's like this. You sure you want to ride with all of the kids? <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, come on, okay. He's like, you sure you want to ride with all of the <laughs> They'll be sleeping. Who, 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 are you ready? You know how I feel about you. Something that I just can't hide. Hey, how did Eddie Kane? <laughs> chitty, chitty, add- yum, yum. Nigga, that's the first. Nah, that's the first. They opened the movie with that song. How are you yeah. ready for me? How did how did Eddie Kane have the realest daddy of all time? You ain't gonna look at his eyeball. You ain't gonna be shit because I ain't shit. And then he told the mother, "I love that." Look, <laughs> yeah, love that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, overacting is super underrated. I don't know what be making it real. Like if you look at the uh, the sergeant and Beverly Hills Cop, if you look oh. at and Tupac and Juice overacting be hey, great sometimes. Juice, like I know some niggas that really act like you know what, Q? I am crazy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that shit is scare you. Like if your homeboy came at you like that, like what that was low scary? Low that scary you, dog. What was scary when Tupac, when Bishop killed their friend, yeah. right? And they all went running, yeah. and then he was counting them. He was like, "Look, what's wrong with you? How much money we got?" What's wrong with you still? What's wrong with you still? Hey. <laughs> no, you man. Actually, what's wrong? They get like, he said, what's wrong with you still? Man, man, the nigga I'm say, not playing. <laughs> why, why he keep to get to keep the gun? Because I already got it, motherfucker. <laughs> no, wait, wait. BT. Come on the part bro. when the cops brought Tupac to, uh, to Omar S. And Tupac like this, look. Yo, they said somebody shot Raheem. <laughs> Yo, they said somebody shot Raheem. Right. <laughs> That's why you shot Raheem. <laughs> Wait, nigga. Remember him? They was in the house about to fight. He was like, this nigga scared. I was like, this nigga scared. <laughs> but wait, wait. But we're still. Yo, y'all break out my mama's shit, man. Yo, fuck that money, man. <laughs> you gotta be ready to take them niggas out whenever you fucking want to. <laughs> Yo, how Bishop turned on still, he said, Yo, shut up, fat ass. <laughs> wait, 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 guys. Wait, 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 guys. Hold on. It's not saying that we're not talking about movies that, that Keisha can get into. So okay. Let's switch gears. You guys remember on, on Home Alone when... uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, hey, <laughs> low lo- key to here. That nigga Cully was a thug, guy. That nigga talked to his mama bad. That first movie, I, was like, I don't, I don't want to go on with you guys. I was like, yeah, damn, that nigga talked to his mama bad. <laughs> you said, what what movie have you seen that we can talk about so you can join in with us? Hold on, first off, man, I, I want I want to redeem myself with that Ti. So I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> let's go, T. That shit been fucking with me, bro. And I I got I got I just gotta redeem myself because that's one of my favorite rappers, man. So let's um, go, T. Okay, here we go. Best of niggas think I can't get when I take her out because this week just watch me break a fucking bank account. Eventually, the PSC is you'll take the south. They grab the earth by the ankles and take the paper out. Nigga, I'm about my paper route, so I'm gonna make it route. And if I block my road to riches, I'm gonna take him out. Keep running your mouth and writing your mind, so it's gonna be easy about it. Nigga, I'm gonna get that part right there. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it was better that time around. Right. Then I ease him out. Then I'm gonna lock him out and leave him out. And they don't change, man. Season in, season out. Open up the sauce, y'all, and see who you read about. If it don't concern PLPSC, he out. Ain't nothing cutting. Ain't nothing if you ain't cutting it, you don't see the house because you know I gotta practice what I preach about. I be feeling the stingers when I talk like a you know it's the it's the lean back that make it make you get in cadence. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta spit this motherfucker. You need a glass of champagne with just a little bit in it. So you can swirl it around. You need a cognac. You need a point when he says, um, fuck you say it. Uh me, I'm gonna get a hoe who gonna make 
Damn, I mean, I'm gonna get a hold that's gonna show my pockets to be about that part. I always fuck that up, no matter what. I don't give a fuck how many times I said it. I always fuck it up. So that's all means something to your life, though. That's why it's close to you. I know, name. I know, ninety eight percent of the shit. When you when you doing ti, I feel like saying this. Oh, they go big little brother. You know, uh, <laughs> they go. You know, this is grown folk business, right? <laughs> that's ATL. <laughs> oh no, no, I see ATL. I see. Oh, okay, okay. I was like, oh shit. Hey, you know, do that, to Keisha. Thank hey, you. so who di- who's the director for ATL? The director, oh, Brian Barber. So, nigga, I'm talking to this nigga. Uh, I think it's Brian Barber, but I'm talking to this nigga Brian Barber about about Idlewild, right? And he said, you know, the m- part with Faison where Terrence Howard shoot Faison. Spoiler alert! And Faison, nigga, this, oh, you was there, right? It, that was Faison told us told that in the uh, in the class. Where, where he said, I'm not. I wasn't supposed to. I was. He was supposed to just die, and the nigga oh, wouldn't let Terrence then, Howard live. He just I kept know. going. He just kept talking to him. But yeah. no, Brian Barber told me too that he that that he told. Faison to keep going. Keep so going. Faison was like, ah, nigga, you shot me, motherfucker. Nigga, yeah. when you see Terrence go, shut up, motherfucker, I can't think. Nigga, that's not, that's not the script. <laughs> shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> <laughs> he was just supposed to get shot and die. And this nigga, Faison refused to die in the scene and they kept it in there, nigga. It was like, yo, shut the fuck up, I can't think. Yo, right. when Faison was dying, he was like this, watch your conduct, nigga. <laughs> 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 you um, do you know Space Jam, Keisha? Do you remember when the monsters <laughs> so? Don't don't be disrespectful to her. I've, I've seen. She goes, um, I've seen Space Jam. Come on. <laughs> I've seen. Okay, we talking about like when it actually came out. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've seen Friday. Okay. You see I've next seen, Friday. See, that's what I mean by black people. Why, I- why- Question. There was a question mark. Why can't one Friday? Did you see one? Listen to the inflection. It, did you see? Did, Keisha, did you see? I feel it's, like at this point, I feel like Keisha. Nah, it's Keisha, you need to just take your hand I'll to the on, screen I'll, and you need to on. roast them all. Hold on, just hold roast on, them all. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. It's, a hold on. Yeah. it's a trilogy. That was a valid question. That's all. I asked a question. I said, "Did you see next it Friday?" It was a valid question. If we talking about this Friday, why you want to bring up the next Friday? You want you want an honest answer? I think I think next Friday I believe is funnier than Friday. I believe well, I Friday was a better that. movie, but a I think of, next uh, Friday is funnier. A lot I like of all the stuff that. that you missed in the first Friday. Like the first time I saw Friday in the theaters, I didn't see Ice Cube when old girl called Ice Cube early. How it was a mm-hmm. whole another nigga in the bed yeah. with her. <laughs> This nigga's laying in the bed. I missed all of that shit at first, dog. Like, it was so many, like, little amazing things that you miss and a lot of nuances that you miss the first time you watch it. Like, that's what I love about the first Friday. What are your favorite movies? The first Friday had one of the most fire soundtracks ever, nigga. That shit was... Keep your head ringing. That damn, keep your head ringing. Hey, you, sitting over Uh, there. You better get up out of your chair and work your body down. No time to walk around. Listen. Nigga, Ty, that was pitch perfect. Is that you on the song? Yeah, that was Ty on the song for real. Nigga, she sound dead on her. That's why she brought that song up. You still getting residuals on that motherfucker. Yeah. Hey, fuck around right again. Let me hear. Just say fuck I mean, around. I mean, I mean, I could sing a little bit, just a little bit. I used to sing at church, you know. If y'all didn't know in the chat, Ty is uh is actually short for uh <laughs> for Tasha from Bone Thugs and Harmony. That's actually it's actually t- <laughs> lazy, crazy. See, I can sing a little bit. I can sing a little bit, just like a little bit. And you Dang. sing for real? Just a little bit. <laughs> If you say it a little bit, that, that uh, when black people say a little sing. bit, that means I can really, really sing. Ty can sing. All right. And Ty never did the karaoke. Come on, Ty. Up to bat for vocals. Drum roll, please, in the chat. What? what? Don't do no rap shit, nigga. We want to hear vocals. Oh, you want to hear a song? Yeah. yeah. OK. I okay, feel look, like look, I have look, to look, do. Look, 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 look. This is what I'm going to say. Anybody that says, like, oh, you want to hear a song? And people are like, yeah. They're like, OK. They not gonna sound good. But when somebody said, Oh, you want to hear a song? They're like, Yeah. 
That smack? <laughs> okay. I was, that, I thought you was missing was this. That's right, how you unlock um, the vocals. <laughs> I mean, what y'all want me to sing? Oh, happy day. What's the little um oh, one thing? Let's see. Give us a Monica. Who's your who do you like vocally? Uh, I like a lot of people, so I got to pick a good song. Okay, you know what? All right, all right, all right. Give me I'm some Jill Scott. I'm going to do something that's going to hit the people. I'm going to hit you to the core that, that speaks to the climate that we in right now. <clears throat> Let them use you. It's been too hard living, but I'm afraid to die. Because I don't know what's up there. Beyond the sky, it's been a long, a long time coming, but I know change gonna come. That's it. That's all you get. That's all you get. You gotta get me. That's, that's it. That's Shit. Right. Listen, listen, listen. This is like your This how Ty know you can sing. You when you know you can sing, you don't give a fuck where you at. Ty's on the porch. On the porch. It's 1121 in Ty's neighborhood. This nigga on the porch singing Sam Cook. A change don't come. <laughs> boy, and boy, and boy, and boy, that motherfucking night. Come on. In a little oh, thing. Oh, and like that river I've been running ever since. It's been a long, a long time coming. All right, I'm going to shut up before I get a bit. You. <laughs> you better let him use you. I told you when she, when she did the motherfucker, I knew I said this motherfucker thing, man. Fresh, fresh off a cigarette. <laughs> did that motherfucker. The idea from theory. That motherfucker say. <laughs> it's been too hard <laughs> living, <laughs> but I'm a fool. <laughs> 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 I don't know what's up there. Saying. That's why I told you in that story to when I was doing the rap and them little young things made me feel bad, I went straight to Marvin Cap. He saw the best in me. <laughs> I, 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 I went from Roddy Rich to that because they made me feel bad. I went back to the Lord when my feelings got hurt. That's what we do. Feelings get hurt, you go back to the Lord. Oh, shit, man. I knew, I knew this motherfucking show was going to be fun tonight, nigga. When I tell, tell y'all... Okay, listen. I'm going to tell y'all the news, because y'all my friends. Y'all real friends. Y'all the scene. Nick, you know. Keisha, you my new best friend. Ty, you my new bestie. DT, BT, you know my fucking struggle, nigga. Already. But anybody that knows, coming off in LA, like, if you don't have a certain look or you're not a thespian, or you don't have the money. It's like a lot of this shit you gotta get from the dirt when it comes to these auditions and shit like that. Like, I ain't no skinny nigga. I ain't never been no skinny nigga. I ain't gonna be no skinny nigga. I, I'm, I'm funny, and I'm telling you I act if you give me a chance. <clears throat> That's literally how I got my agent. I was at this thing, and um, long story short, I was like, I need to learn how to get an agent. Tell me how. And he was like, well, we do this. I was like, all right, my nigga, but you're going to be my agent. And long story short, like a week and a half later, I went to his office audition. He was my agent. <clears throat> We've been going hard, right? Like, I'm going to be honest with you. I've got more auditions doing COVID than I ever have, like, in real life. And I've done I've done some things, but c commercials are one thing that have always, like, have been so elusive of me. Like, I can never get, I would get in the room, I would get a call back, but I can never get to that next level. Or somebody would pin me to something, and pinning basically mean it came down to me and one or two other people, but it would never, like, mm, just just fully just just come together. So <clears throat> I did um, I did an audition. The kid helped me with it. It was for uh, this banking um, commercial. Um, did it in the kitchen right before we were about to go to dinner. So I was actually really rushing. And then didn't think anything of it. And I got a call back. I got the call back for it on Friday. Now the call back was at the exact same time that I was doing the show for the for uh CBC. The oh Carolina. wow. And when I had to like I had to mute it to do the, the call back, I was already ready, to, like I already knew what was going on. But Chinadu had the same call back. 
We were going out for the same fucking role. Which Chin so, That's why Chin uh Yunaka. Chin do right here. So Chin Chin did the he did the he had the same hallback. So that's why he went first because the, the show the order show was supposed to go tie Chin Chin mm-hmm. and then CP. But Chin Chin was like he had an audition at six forty. So I was like fuck it, I I move you up, hit tie up, it was all good. So Chin goes up, he does his thing, funny as shit, and he texts me. After he did his thing, while Ty was performing, he was like, yo, bro, they already picked the person. I was like, what? He was like, yeah, they just called me and told me they already picked the person. There's no need to audition. I'm like, fuck, because I done already moved the lights down to the kitchen. Like, because they want you in the kitchen doing the goddamn audition. Like, it was very mm. detailed, very intense. <clears throat> so I'm like, I will forget it. So I go back to, to the show. I'm watching the show and stuff like that. I get a phone call. I was like, hey, to here. Um, we know your audition at this time. Can we move you up real quick? We're trying to wrap out the day. And I'm like, fuck, they just doing the, the whole courtesy thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, they already signed me up, so they're just going to do it. So I'll go in, do it. I mute the thing. Because he was like, what this nigga doing? He about to cook something? He about to cook a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Right. Whatever, man. Uh, so I, 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 that was the whole show. So um, I mute this show. I hop on the other computer, hit him with the Zoom. I take the notes that they give me. I do the thing. Supposed to hear something about Monday. Monday don't come. I mean, Monday comes, no, nothing, right? So me and my agent are on the phone talking, and um, and it just didn't happen. We like, fuck it, we gonna get it because I like, I like it keeps getting to that point. I know it's gonna come. I know it's gonna fucking come, right? <clears throat> so didn't hear that back Monday. Didn't hear nothing back Tuesday, and I'm like, cool. I right, I get another audition. It's gonna be all good. I get dressed this morning because I'm about to go shoot with Kev. Checking my phones, I'm walking down. And um, open up the phone, look at the email. My agent was like, nigga, this is what people been waiting on. This the big one. This one I will never get tired of seeing this commercial. Nigga, they booked me for the commercial of Chase. This is a national commercial. Yeah. Yes. Internet, TV, cable, network, yes. print. Bro, when I tell you. All the coins. I, nigga, like. I just Ooh. covered my I covered my face because no. It's okay, let it out. Let it out, let nigga. It out. Damn. Uh-huh. My daughter, Nobody my daughter came, just came out. She came out and she saw my hand. She was like, what's wrong? And then she hit my back and I felt the cry coming because I was like, yo, nigga, I so long. Right. And then Farron came up the stairs here, just went outside. She came up and she seen me. She was like, you got it, did you? And she, Rash, oh, dear. I've been trying for so fucking long. And all these commercials, they be going with people that's like super fit or you got to know somebody. And there's so much nepotism that goes on, dog. So they're like, to get this shit, 11 years. It took 11 years to get this level of success to get the validation that I wasn't doing this shit in vain. <clears throat> shit just it hit different. I was trying to hold that shit in earlier the kid touched me and I felt it coming down. It was like a fucking car that you had parked, but the emergency brake came up and you started dropping that. <laughs> and I got it back together. Then Farron came up and she saw I had got it. She hit me again. I was like, stop, this is for the start again. Get it out. Because I was so, nigga, it was, you work hard, man. You work hard for this shit. And then when it comes, dog, like, it just, like, it just, yeah, thank you. It's so, like, it be time dog like it'd be right on time so i just wanted to share that with y'all man because a lot of times i don't feel like doing a lot of shit but y'all come through with good energy on the show and then everybody watching the show it'd be it'd be great energy man so i just wanted to just share my successes with y'all because y'all really get a lot of the energy going bro so knowing you when i moved out here in 2011 bro i don't know a lot of people know this but to hear used to work come home, create content, go on auditions for you. Like the dude don't rest, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know if y'all remember on Zoom with the homies one time, that was the day uh, <clears throat> BTU was on here, Tahira got sick. Mm. He got mm-hmm. sick or whatever, he had to get off. And I text him, cause, yo, Tahir don't rest. Like this is a, this is literally a, 
I go to sleep for two hours and drink 90 ounces of coffee all day. You know what I'm saying? It busts his ass. So, man, you deserve everything you got, bro. I we, right. we knew it was coming, man. So, I, yo, I'm happy for you, man. Congratulations. And I, I definitely know more going to come with everything that you're creating, bro. So I'm happy for you, man. Yes. Yeah. T, rel relish, this, relish this moment, bro. And and enjoy this victory. But you, we have these conversations. They, yeah, they, 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 whoever they would be, got to be a goddamn fool to not recognize the talent, bro. Like yeah. the tide has to turn because niggas is working too hard, fam. You working way too hard, bro. You working too hard. You too talented, too funny. It make too much sense. You know what I'm saying? So. It's a it's a it's a win for you, nigga. It's a win for Chase, bro. Yeah. They got yeah. they got a, a front man that has a huge audience of people that mess around and open the Chase account just because you there, bro. Exactly. Yeah. Hey man, I just want to ask y'all one favor, man. Please don't 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 make a gift of me crying, nigga. That's my biggest. No, no. <laughs> Listen, because... <laughs> we had already clipped that. I'll be like, fuck, nigga, this is what I get. I ain't gonna hold you. My my allergy started acting up. My eyes were sweating. I was fine. Man, I you know, was just... going to cry, nigga. I was just, bro, I want y'all to know how real it is to like, niggas come out here and they be out here their whole life. And don't get something like this, man. Okay. A lot of it goes to like the work ethic. The work ethic, the talent can get you in the room, but it ain't gonna keep you. Your work ethic ain't matching your talent or surpassing your talent. You're not gonna, it ain't gonna work like that, man. Like, and I try to work as much as I fucking can. I love working, nigga. I love we shot 13 episodes of a new show today. Jeez. 13 fucking episodes in one day. And I gotta shoot tomorrow with Kev. Like I work, nigga. So like to finally have something big pay off like this was like, dog, that shit just it just it meant a lot. So I, I was just super thankful for the opportunity. And like I said, I wanted to share with my people, man. Like you motherfuckers, like y'all really be holding me down on here and and my real friends, man. So I appreciate y'all. And I just wanted to share this win for us. Thank huh? you, man. And congratulations, oh, bro. That's fantastic, bro. Congratulations, and it's like well deserved. <laughs> Like you said, you know, you you put in the work and I just feel like that's the hard part about this industry that a lot of people don't know and people just think like, oh, when you gonna get on something? And it's so much that's out of your control. Like I'm sure you killed all them commercial auditions that you went in and it came down to some shit that just had nothing to do with you, but it's all yeah. about it being your time and this being the commercial, like what God has for you is truly for you. And when you are working, he will open doors. When you move your feet, he will open doors for you. This is only the first of many, the beginning of, of so much that's coming because you do grind, you do put in so much hard work, you do believe in yourself, you are super talented. So, and, and then you're doing shit for yourself. You're like, I'm making my own lane. So I'm super, super happy for you. Man. Let me hold about I was in here, which is come in. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, and on some real shit, like I told you before, like I'm genuinely and thoroughly like inspired and motivated every time I'm around to here. Every like we shot something earlier today, and I came home like, damn, I gotta do some rewrites because I gotta get this shit together. I gotta put something out, like you know, like it, it, the way you motivate others, the way you're grinding, your work ethic, you know, keeps people in your circle on their toes. Um, it just doesn't go unnoticed. So, you, you know, what's crazy too. The like for the people in the chat, like to uh, tag on to what Keisha saying is like, you don't understand how. So one, this city and business chews people up and spits them out. We've we've all had friends that came and left that have came and honestly didn't make it out for like mentally were changed on the other side of it. Like it took a toll on their spirit because you could go into an audition, kill it. The director says, I love this guy. Casting says, I love this guy. The, the company says, we love this guy. The lawyers say, not this guy. I went in for Insecure eight times. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, and then like I got it. Like, yo, they they love you. They wouldn't keep yeah. talking. If they don't, it's just it, it, it's a matter of the right. Wait, it's, it'll happen when it's supposed. It's so many things out of your control because so like you because you know when you're when you start auditioning up, you know when you're doing well in the room. You was like, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I, I bodied that one. And and so many things cannot have anything to do with you. It's just like, oh, they just went another direction. They 
you know what? They just switch the whole thing and now they're going to make it male or make it female or they're going to switch your whole part and now they're going to go with a dog. You'd be like, what? Oh. It, it just, it get weird, man. Like it goes down to all type, your skin tone, your height. Your, like, yeah. A dark skin woman, you know what I mean? But... Yeah. No, and don't have some morals or speak some truth or have any kind of backbone. That just make it harder. If you stand up for black people, oh man. It's oh, he put Black Lives Matter on this page. Ugh, get him out. It's like it's a lot, bro. It's it's a lot. So super, super, super duper congrats, man. Well, not only that is it not only is that inspiring, like you gotta remember too, when we all move out here to LA mentally, I don't know where everybody's head might be or just about trying to get on or make it to see anyone in your group of friends get an opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, I, and I mean, like being on, like all these episodes of Zoom with the homies, I, I remember a lot of people didn't even know, like just even with Tiffany, all of us have been in a room, a green room, and you know, go eventually to see her on the screen, it's like, yo, this could happen. To hear, to hear, come on here, and just say what he just said and been around him. It's like, it could happen. So it's like, man, you sharing that news the way you did on here, man. Everyone, everyone grasp it. It's it's definitely inspiring for everyone to say, hey, man, you keep working. Stop worrying about, stop worrying about when is your time. Uh -huh. It's not able to wake up the next day and keep doing what you came out. Cause the biggest win, a lot of people don't even know is saying, I'm gonna try to. I'm a. I'm gonna try to make this. I'm going to make this. I'm not gonna try. I'm going to make this happen. If you move yeah. from your comfort zone, <clears throat> if you move from your comfort zone, if you said I'm gonna do this, because even say you're gonna do this is a no no in most households or friends. Like you really, you about to do what, man? Get this money. If you saying you're gonna attempt something, you moved, you you sacrificed, you quit your job, you left, and you come out here or wherever you go, it's a win. So your victory is heard by everyone on here. And yeah. I hope everybody in the chat room that's watching this shit, I don't, it don't have to be just comedy. Whatever it is you doing, whatever it is. Absolutely. That, man. So to him, thank you, bro. Love you, man. Congratulations, that's man. That's all facts, man. You work, work your ass off. Yeah, <laughs> work, work your ass off to be an overnight success. <laughs> yeah. That's that part, DP. But like to hear, you know, I'm, I'm happy personally to hear that because you have done so much good for and to other people. And anytime I talk about you, I talk about how giving of yourself and your platform, and you remember what happened on Monday when, when we were all on the Zoom for that, and you and Kev had said, and I was just like, wait, what? And you know, you're just getting back what you have been effortlessly and selflessly putting out into the universe. Zooming with the homies has become the thing that people call me and be like, hey, yo, how you get on that? Hey, yo, you think you could put in a word, you know, with to hear from me? Like you have created a monumental thing and there is a changing of the guard, not just in our political process, not just in our personal lives, but all over. The days of you got to look like this, you got to sound like this. You got to be like this. Those days are over. Oh, we not going to put you on TV because of X, Y, Z. We're going to go and put our shit on the free platform. My following has increased by 5,000 people in eight months by me sitting at home because of people like you, people like D-Lay, people like Kev on stage, people like DT, people like Nick sharing me on their platforms and not, not wanting anything from me, but just to pull up. So when, if anybody got anything funny or smart or bad to say about my good friend to hear more, prepare to square up dog. And this is a so in so I ain't even worried about it coming out. Like we can throw these hands. I smoke Newport 100s, I fight niggas. And if you come at me wrong about to hear more, it's going to be that. Like, to hear you ain't even know me that well, and you picked me up when I was in L.A., and you took me to your spot that you were doing, and you were like, hey, you want some time? You made sure that I got time. Ain't nobody know me. You know how niggas in L.A. treat y'all niggas that's already there. Imagine how they treat outsiders when they come to L.A. And all to hear did was like, oh, she, she good. She with us. 
can get the time. So you take your moment. You accept yeah. this. You embrace it. You feel it. And if you got to cry, you motherfucking cry. If you got to stumble over your words and be tongue-tied and say little me 76 times in a row, you do that. <laughs> I secretly <laughs> wish that you and Farron have a son and name him little me. So you <laughs> little me are one of the Stella best different. people. You want you literally one of the best people I've ever met. Literally, I'm so proud of you. Look, literally, I'm look, literally. Smell it different and say literally. Damn it, <laughs> literally. I have annoyed. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all, man. I have annoyed to hear with thank yous during the quarantine because I could honestly say before the quarantine started, I literally and this is I never even said this. Like literally, I was like, I'm just gonna get a job. And this is this is automatically because I felt like I couldn't I the Instagram I'm not with none of this internet I'm not with it I wasn't really with it or anything, yo to hear saw something in me and put me on mad stuff like from this this damn show from the, I'm not saying this damn show this show right here so yeah. word is hard I have a fan base of people that follow me to a whole bunch of I've gotten so many opportunities from this. So this is really, this is really whatever anyone believes in, God, I mean, God, whatever. This is your payment, your payment back, literally, because you've put, you've given opportunities to so many, as so many comedians, it's like, yo, to hear, if it wasn't for to hear, if it wasn't this, to hear, to hear, to hear. Like, you know, you talk about those gatekeepers, literally gatekeepers are mad at you because you are yeah. here with fan bases. I, 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 I'm just saying it. Yo, cause they tell you you need this, you need that. You have literally been the one at the side door, like yo, come on, come on, hurry up, hurry up, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> like to hear, like yo, come on, come on, hurry up, hurry up. Everybody, everybody, everybody. <laughs> yeah. So if you, if to hear don't like you, you had to be, you have had to be some type of asshole. Cause this dude has literally put on so many black comedians throughout this fucking quarantine. It is crazy. So once again, man, I'm done. But thank you, bro, and I'm happy for you, man. Man, when I, I told somebody the other day, I said, "Yo, if you had to ask me, like my fate out, out of the stuff I've done in my career, my favorite credits, bro. When I tell you, wording is hard as top of the tops, bro. When I tell you, it's, it's up there, bro. I'm like, listen, because because it's me and you, and you, you know, you like my brother, so it's like, no, I'm like, I'm myself, and he set a world up." that made that allowed for that i'm like yeah. yo man hey man hey it's all coming back to you as it should bro, bro. i appreciate it man easily and, that, and like and to hear and like to the people that have big followers like i don't have a, a big following but understand that i have been able to not only gain new followers but i've been able to retain them a lot of the people that like me and fuck with me is because they saw me talking you know and they're more likely to come and see me now because they are familiar with me on this. So if you think I'm funny doing this, just talking my shit, imagine what I look like polished and working out yeah, and I doing a show. Funny, man. God don't even know so how funny. I thank you here. I really do. She's so fucking funny, man. Her and Keith, everybody on this show, man. Like, I appreciate all the flowers, man. I really do. And last night when I put the show together, I was like, Man, this is gonna be a really fucking good show. Just because I knew the energy that everybody brings. Keisha's super chill, but she know how to get out of pocket when she need to. Ty <laughs> stay out of pocket. She, Ty is a switchblade that you can't put back in. Like the blade, <laughs> you gotta just keep that bitch on the table, right? That, that's Ty right there. Now you like, oh, switchblade and all of that, but you don't realize it's serrated. So it, it'll cut you for real. This is gonna cut you. <laughs> but it's got a pearl handle, so it's delicate. So it's nice, right? BT just, man, just wild as hell. You don't know where he gonna go with the stories, but it's always entertaining, it's always funny. And Nick is just a great comedian and a great host, man. I see so much greatness in you, bro. And I already told you, like, I've been saying for a couple of weeks that I've been looking for, like, uh, you know, guest host to, to, to hold it down when I'm gone. And Nick, you are always on the forefront of my mind. Like, you can ask Farron, I was like, yo, I think Nick gonna be definitely one of my guest hosts because you recognize that as a host, the show is not about you. There are some people who they cannot make everything about them when they're hosting the show, but you're somebody that is 
actively involved and everyone being actively involved in the conversation. You ask amazing questions. You ask probing questions. You guys mm -hmm. do an amazing job at that. So whenever I get my schedule together and be like, yeah, I'm going to take these this next two weeks off. I'm going to have Nick on for this day. I'll help him book it. I'll push him for him and all of that type of stuff. But I know people are going to still going to come. I ain't got to worry about the numbers dwindling because I know you're going to do what the fuck you're supposed to do, bro. And that's Thank it's you, a man. beautiful feeling to know that you got people in place that can hold it down for you. Like, I know BT would be a great fucking host. Now, I know that, you know, I got to help him book it because BT will wait till the last minute to book that. But he'll be booking the show <laughs> at 6 o'clock. But that's, that's great because I know my friends. I, so I know what I need to help him with. So he can continue to be great. You know, six twenty-five. I'm, I'm booking at six twenty-five. Six twenty-five. This nigga be hitting people up. <laughs> <laughs> ta -ta, ta -ta. They got did it yesterday. <laughs> like, BT, like, I would be uh, only you know, know, and BT <laughs> texting her like, "You think it could come back tomorrow?" It's like, nigga, this show's <laughs> not done. <laughs> so I know, I, love here. I know all my my friends, strips, and how we can help each other continue to grow on this. And I know Ty would be a great host too. Ty had her own radio show. You know what I'm saying? She was working with DTLR. She was hosting that shit Monday through Friday. She had a podcast. You did she my show. Podcast. Yeah, I did. I did the show. I did, did the my, show. You oh, did my show. I was so I know, happy. I know, you know, that I got some amazing people around me and I'm so thankful, man. Uh, Tony Baker. Tony Baker would be great, but you know, he ain't you know, when too many people start talking, he would just shut the Zoom down. Zoom over with the homies would be over by 7.17 if Tony <laughs> made you the homies. I'm sick of it. I'm, I'm like, sick of it. Shut up, man. He's always talking. Man. Skibbity paps across the screen. <laughs> Tony would be in the comments more than he's hosting. It would, it would just it would be. <laughs> like, you, but you know what's so dope about, like, you, Kev, Tony Baker, um, Pat, like, I've never met Tony, and I've never met, like, Kev in real life, but because of you, like, I've connected with so many, like, I've never met Keisha. I know who Keisha is. I've seen her. I know her reputation. So, when I'm coming on here, it's like, one, it's a therapeutic. I get to kick through with my friends. I know Nick. I know BT. I know Tahir. But then it's like, oh, shit. It's another woman. It's a black woman. I get the opportunity to connect with somebody else. Like, you're doing more than entertaining people. You're also educating people. Zooming with the homies is one of the best late night television shows. I said yeah. what I said. And not only and not only are you entertaining the people, you are humanizing comedians because a lot of times people think that comedians were funny and we're on all the time. We sad, we go through shit, we be ready to quit, we be ready to fuck these kids up, kill your mama in the bedroom because she keep coming out here. That type of stuff. <laughs> so you so you have provided an environment for us to feel safe and for people to understand. And then I'm not even going to talk about the aspiring comedians. So they're learning how to conduct themselves when they come into green rooms, when they come into clubs. You're dropping gems on how to network, how to socialize, what comedic etiquette is. It, it ain't about you being funny. You know how many funny motherfuckers I know that'll never leave Baltimore City limits because they don't know how to move and shake in a the room. They don't know how to talk to people. So you're educating people on here, not just in the realm of comedy, but in how to conduct your business. Every five minutes, you dropping a new show, some new words. I'm like, shit, I'm still trying to bend all the fucking wording is hard. And here he come with some, some new shit. Math is hard. Come on, nigga, with the shit. <laughs> but, I, but I'm I'm happy for you. you I appreciate that. You know by the way, uh, new more mob. I mean, more mob shirts are coming out. Uh, they're gonna be dropping this weekend. Um, it's gonna be twenty percent off um, for 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 everyone only this weekend. Uh, for more uh, for for the more mob patrons, it's gonna be twenty percent off up until Black Friday, so you guys will get 20% the entire time. Everybody else, you only get it this weekend. So um, those will go up tomorrow, and I'll, I'll be pushing that all weekend, so you can go ahead and do it. I'm doing a pre-Black Friday sale, so you guys can just get it now. You're going to have it, hopefully, by the time the holiday's here. So Thank you. So that's going to be out there. But For me, each of y'all on this episode pushed the bar for everybody. So, I mean, it's I mean, it's just great to, like, like I, BT, this dude, 
have made a movie when I, I didn't even know that was possible. BT had three <laughs> movies that he done put in a movie in theaters that he wrote. Like, yeah, and, and BT will will disappear on you for like a year. You're like, what, yo, did BT oh. move? BT will be in the crib with a whole script written across his whole wall. <laughs> like, uh, BT, Dope Geek was his first movie. That was inspiring. Keisha, I've seen Keisha in projects, the Netflix joint, all of that. That's, that's inspiring as hell. Ty is, is a whole other story. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was like, we were you know? me and people talking earlier, and I was like, yeah, I love being on with like homies with people I know. And I was like, I don't know Ty, but I feel like I do because I didn't see her on here. And she's just cool as hell. I'm like, she's funny. I feel like oh. I'm wrong with Ty. <laughs> cool as hell. Like, funny as hell. And then watching Ty. I watched, yo, when the quarantine started, I watched Ty on live for hours holding a, a holding an audience. And that's hard, like, to hold, like, you know, the only other person I've seen, like, hold an audience for hours like that on live, like, Tony will have, like, people watch five-hour movies, trilogies on live for, like, hours. Right. And people, I watched Ty have people from 6 p.m. to, like, 3 p.m. the next day on a live hold, and that's hosting. So just watching that. So it's like the Zoom with the homie just puts the bar on everybody, man, to watch, to make everybody just push their limits. So yeah. All right, guys. This is weird. I don't want to hear about me no more. Uh we have BT's YouTube page <laughs> that is literally only 600 subscribers away from 10,000. Man, I got that pinned to the top right now. Please, please subscribe to my brother's page. Let's get into that 10,000 buyer before the weekend. Thank you to LD Scott. I appreciate that that super chat. Also, a big thank you to Juan Lopez. I appreciate that as well, brother. Uh, we're about to get ready to start wrapping it up. Uh, I so don't let's want do to. Let's keep going. I know, right. I know. I got, I got a list. I still got to upload. Damn internet, you scary. On these hoes, I got to get some cuts going for promo tomorrow. Uh, you know, if you guys need something to watch after the show, please check out the newest episode of More to the Story. We, uh, if we can get this episode around what the last episode did, around 36,000, then we'll be able to get a deal with uh, the company that we're working with and we'll be able to get the uh, the podcast on uh, Spotify and Apple Music as well. Nice. Um, so check that out. Um, and also the new the newest episode of Wearing This Hard came out today. That was the remix. I mean, not the remix, the, uh, what is the rematch? Me and Tony Baker. Uh, check that out. The rematch of me and Kevin's rematch of me and Kevin on stage are coming soon, and probably a rematch with me and Mr. Kevin on stage as well. Uh, BT, you get another remix if you want, but I mean, it ain't gonna be much different. You know, I saying? won the first time. I, y'all cheated me. I'm still well, waiting for the jacket. I, I'm still waiting for my jacket that I won of Molly Whopping to hell on this episode because he thought I was an uneducated black man. You know what I'm saying? But I transmogrified how he feels. About right. me right here. Episode right, from like right, how do you right, right, right. homeschooling? Right Yo, Loki, I just saw that that um that thing that comment from who was this? Flight Gang TV to hear needs to do a zoom with the homie Zoomathon the day before he goes on Christmas break. I thought about doing like a four or five hour Zoom and just getting people like have like 30 guests and just have them come on. Yeah. We'll see. There's a lot to commit to. And if if them cash apps is weak as hell, that's five hours out of my day that I'd have made seventy eight dollars on. So no, no, we'll we'll see though. We might promote it right. Like they be like, yeah, man, it's hour three. Let's keep it going. Check cash app thirteen dollars. Okay, fuck y'all. Bye. (laughs) 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 To hear that, people don't be understanding. This all we do, bro. This is it. Yeah, this is it, this nigga. Is it. Real talk. Uh, but uh, let's go. Um, let's go. Keisha, BT, Ty, Nick. Okay. Um, so I want to give a thank you to. Uh, thank you to Reggie, Justin, LeBaron, Amanda, Brown Smith, uh, Jensen, I think, GMJ, Jasmine, Ah, uh, Sydney. <laughs> Wait, what did Sydney say? <laughs> I hate Sydney. Thank you, Sydney. Um, Levante, Kiera, Michael, Andre, Andre again, Brandon, taking the stage, Jose, Martinez, Guy, um, and oh, that's something else. That's an ego. Yeah. Um, so thank you to everybody for the cash apps. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. Um, thank you again to Tahir for having me on. It's always a good time. Thank you for the platform, of course. Um, 
And to everybody on the show, I had a great time. That's it. Y'all can follow me on Instagram. Um, I post whatever I have coming up there. It's Keisha.e, I-T-S-K-E-Y-S-H-A dot E. There it is. Uh, before you go, BT, real quick. Watch a black movie this weekend. Um, y'all need to uh, make sure you go support BT and subscribe to his page. Also, to I forgot who that was that said it, but I did get Meg scoop on an episode of Working This Hard while she was here, so that was coming out too. So just know, Ooh, nice. That that's oh, no. nice, good. Nice. Uh, go ahead, BT. Uh, all right. So uh, first of all, I appreciate y'all. Let me do these uh, the catchy happies first. Uh, Baron, uh, appreciate you, bro. Strawberry cheesecake is leaning to my favorite right now in the popcorn world. That's leaning to be number one. That strawberry cheesecake was lit. And for all the other Zoomers, here we go. Shamir is knowing the Tamir Morton and Genesis Nibonate and Mandy Brandon Smith. And they said the Jaquitos, Junior Syndicatio, the Vin Levante, Jordan, Jenny, Booker Thomas, and the, the Digitizer Andrews, Brandon Reese, take it to the stage. Jose Martin, I appreciate all y'all on the, on the cash. I'm pretty sure I nailed all those names perfectly. Um... Most importantly, you guys, I got hard goals trying to get to 10K for the year, like my dog uh, Tahir said. Um, for my YouTube page, I literally stopped doing comedy on the road this year at January 1 to grow out social media. And one of the goals was to get the YouTube to 10,000 before a year out. I was at, I don't know, 130. <laughs> around the, the top of the year and between wording is hard and zooming with the homies and some shares from, you know, uh, a couple homies, CT and Tyrese. It's, it's been, it's been moving and y'all supporting. Give me five. So if you have not, please go watch. Give me five. Um, most importantly, please follow the discord. If you follow the discord, normally you kind of make your way to everything else and that works uh, amazingly. Uh, the Kings and Queens of the what? I love y'all 3000. Uh, you guys are the greatest Kings of crew. Um, I appreciate your team, man. You know what it is, man. I don't, you know, and if you haven't, please go download Tuskegee and uh, more music coming before the year is out. You know what I mean? We lit. All right, let's go. Ty, what you got for him? All right. Well, first of all, I want to thank uh, my guy to hear as always putting me in position to meet new people and, and, you have been a large part of me not having to file for bankruptcy or start an OnlyFans, so thank you. Um, shout out to all of the people that hit me on my cash app, Legron, Rudy Brand, Road Type Brands, I don't know if that's how you say it, Jose Martinez, uh, Taking the Stage, Jordan Printers, uh, Andrew, Brandon Reeves, Ebony, She's So Special, Eric Smith, Digitizer. Timothy Daniel, Miranda Landry, Gwen Thomas, James Stevens II, There's two of those guys, Kiara Sade, Aaliyah, Whitney B, uh, Levante Rogers, Sidney Castile, Jasmine Dixon, Juan Lopez, Adrian Rolls, Shamika Snow, DJ Maxwell, Christine Mays, Talisha, Amanda Brown Smith, Jensen ben Benoit, LeBaron, thank you. I got to put in another order because Crab Legs is a hit in Crab this legs. house. Crab legs go hard in this household. Uh, Tony Morton, uh, Rador Stewart, Corey Lang, Cat Eyes Confidence, I think this is this, Nelson Quinones Jr., Darlene, Whitney, Denise Collins. Uh, if I said any of your names wrong, charge it to my head, not my heart. I did be fresh, so if anybody sends anything in, thank y'all. If I don't see it just yet, um, BT, uh, one of my favorite things that you're doing is the binging with BT, and <laughs> I am all caught up on Breaking Bad. Yeah, we're doing Breaking Bad right now, yes. So that's really good. Nick, you know, I love your show, you and, and Marshall Brandon. I love y'all together. Keith E, I'm so excited that I had the opportunity uh, to meet you, and I think it's very important for, you know, women to connect and fellowship with each other, you know, outside of the boys, you know what I mean? Because like the like it's coming there's a shift there's a change in the energy and it's gonna be a lot of brown women's faces on the front of stuff so i, I can't wait to connect and meet with you in real life um i will where, where be uh, back at? on the road 
I'm in. I'm located on the East Coast. I'm in Baltimore. Okay. Okay. And um, but I will be in North Carolina at the end of this month. Uh, so that'll be my first road gig in eight months. And I will be in LA doing Keep It Different Comedy Show in December. So um, I look forward to all you guys. And I just want to leave this message that I'm going to shut up. I know that a lot of y'all support us and want to follow us and all of that. And you're like, when are we going to see you on Netflix? When are we going to see you on this? Understand that if you support us in the spaces that we're in right now, it won't matter if those people call on us. It's not that simple for us to just go into those rooms and get those jobs. So if you don't have any money to send anybody on Cash App to support, like to hear more video, like right. his channel, like BT page, subscribe, like any of our YouTube channels, follow us on Instagram. Even if you like, I don't be on Instagram like that. I don't care. Create a profile right now Facts. and follow us. And if you don't ever log on to it again, whatever. But when you do, just know that you'll see our content. So just make sure that y'all keep up with us because this group right here and any group that you hear has had on this show, it's a changing of the guard. So the national headliners that y'all been loving and y'all been worshiping for the past 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60 years, the new class is coming in. And this is it. Right. So, um, thank we, lost, we lost T for a second. He'll probably be back any second now. Side note, you guys, um, the if you even if you don't have the ability to share it take the youtube link and share it in your group chat you guys got all these group chats going on mm -hmm. share it in your group chat text it to a friend like make a cut after this is over go into the regular comments and leave a comment because that all helps push out the algorithm and yep. shows interest in the conversation that you guys have going on that all helps tremendously side note i uh for anybody asking it but you wait a minute hold on Cause if Ty gonna be putting these girls in the in the screen, she said what she want about these sag ass cities. Them motherfuckers look good. You pushing uh, them in like that. Uh, wait, wait, I'm wait. sorry, it ain't my fault. She didn't. She didn't dangle them things I'm all in the screen. My they they <laughs> only stand tonight. When I take them off, soggy pairs, soggy <laughs> sad pairs. Ty didn't drop the things on the goddamn screen. It was like nigga. <laughs> 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 Hey. I had to I had to move my iPad because it started raining. It got on over here. Yes, let me thank, let me thank these people real quick before you here come back and cut us out of here. Uh, yeah. Nell, y'all, thank. Uh, first of all, shout out to Reggie Bo for requesting money from me. I declined it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, thank you, Reggie. But Reggie Bo, uh, thank you, Nelson. Uh, Tony Martin, LeBaron, a hey, dill pickle popcorn is my favorite. Del Pick Del Pickle Popcorn is definitely my favorite. LeBaron, uh, Amanda Brown Smith, Jeanson, Shamiko, uh, Shamika, Sydney, Levante, Coco, Ebony, Brandon Reese, Taking the Stage, Jose Martinez, Digitizer, and Guy Newell. Um, hey man, listen, I'm gonna be honest with you. All I ask is y'all didn't follow me on Instagram. Uh, I'm trying to get to 7,000 followers, right? You know what I'm saying? Just 7K. I'm at 6,000 now. Just all I want is 7,000. I get 100 views. I'm humble. I don't care. It's all I want. I will send y'all the information if y'all follow me on IG to the new uh, podcast I have. So just follow me at Nick underscore Carthan. I appreciate y'all. And that's it. My my IG, uh, for everybody watching, if, if y'all mess with me, my IG is shot to shit. I don't know what's going on. Is my IG is just not you open. Too many DMs, BT. Yeah, I, I didn't send no. I I've, I've my, I do not send dick pics. I don't do that because I'm a respectful yeah, I don't, I don't black do man. Don't, I definitely don't do that. I definitely I, don't. I'm, do I'm that. a respectful black man, and I won't do that. And you you damn right. I, I definitely don't do that. But it, it's it's down, you guys. So yeah, if you need to message me, because y'all know I text on here. Go to the Discord and just message me in there. Reset your phone, like turn it off, force close the app. Done that. Yeah, I deleted the time. app. I've Hit updated up the phone. Hit up Tom for MySpace. He's still taking care of shit like this today. <laughs> 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 After here, when the goose was down, I hit up Tom and he brought all this shit together. So Tom is still working. By the morning. <laughs> Tom been sitting behind that computer for years. Like, yeah, nigga, I get shit done. <laughs> When Tom, Tom did look kind of cocky. Tom was looking at the screen like, first of all, bitch, I get money, nigga. <laughs> and, and, and people was disrespecting Tom. They was taking him out of the top eight. You know what I'm saying? All Tom was doing was providing us friendship. And people deleted him. 
So Tommy's nigga. still taking care of shit. Well, you play with me if you want to, nigga. Yo, on that screen, your stars won't fall, you whole ass nigga. Don't delete me, nigga. Tom, bitch. <laughs> 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 Oh, yes. D, love you, bro. Appreciate you, man. Congratulations, God damn it. Love you to uh, hear. Congrats. Uh, yeah. I appreciate you, man. Hold on. Let me see if I can get this back is, to This is like real love. I don't got to say pause. Love you, man. You're out here winning. I'm happy for you. Thank you, man. Uh, to hear I mean, your, your villain twin is on the screen right now in the blue jacket. Yeah, I'm trying to close that one out, man. This one, um, it's it's stupid. AT and T is is stupid. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I do that. It just it just it just just stopped working completely for me. Well, listen, uh, you got that chase money coming yeah. in now. You can get Spectrum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So anyway, I'm just I'm gonna just finish it like this. Um, I want to give a shout out to, uh, to, 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 to brother in blue, Jared Brown. Um, Chanel, Renee, Tony Morton, uh, Cat Eyes, LeBaron, Crystal, Amanda, Kiara, uh, Janice, Jensen, uh, Jay Hemby, Andrew, Felicia, Brandon Reese, Kristen, Gerald, Don, Sydney, Sydney, Dominique, Levante, Gwen, Andrew. Man, I appreciate all the love, Brandon, Andrew, Jose. Chuck and uh, yeah, thank y'all so much, man, for the well wishes. Thank you for the positivity that you guys are constantly uh, pouring into my life every day, man. Uh, again, I can't do this without y'all. I can't do this without my friends. So, big shout out to the More Mob. Big shout out to the Scary Squad. Big shout out to the Rewatch Gang. Uh, thank you guys so much for constantly supporting and getting on board with what we got going on. Again, check out the new episode of uh, More Mob. I'm sorry, more to the story that dropped yesterday. And check out the new episode of uh, Word is Hard that came out today. Um, and uh, tomorrow's a new episode of Damn It and That You Scary, as well as On These Hoes. And tomorrow's guest will be On These Hoes uh, on Zoom with the homies. So come here and pressure to pulling up with a couple more people. So make sure y'all pull up for that. It's going to be a great time. Thank y'all for watching. To hear, to, make sure, to make sure that I'm not just talking, nigga. I'm making sure I share a goddamn more to the story right now. Goddamn My it. dog. I appreciate you, man. Yeah. Don't forget to don't Thank don't forget to subscribe to BT Kings. He's now at nine thousand four hundred and eighty subscribers, so we can get to ninety five hundred by tonight. Make sure you subscribe to my dog, man. Like the video before y'all get up out of here. I appreciate y'all. You guys have been amazing as always. Thank you, and you guys have a great night. Uh, see you tomorrow. Another episode of Zoom with the Homies, y'all. Peace. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm not leaving till everybody else leaves. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not leaving. You go yeah. full Donald Trump. I'm not fucking leaving. <laughs> we're gonna take over.